I'm a toasty wussy roaster who roasts a toast to make toasty roasts. In goes bread, out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. Mmm, bah! Konpanwa, everyone. Konpanwa. Okay. Minecraft. Konpanwa, Jesse, Puchi, Wai Tao, Fumo, Volnwin, Tan Tan. Still bread. Hello, everyone. Uh, gonna be honest, I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't fought the Ender Dragon that much in vanilla before, so this is probably only going to be like in the maybe like the fifth time that I've legitimately fought fought her without like using mods or cheats, and I've also never tried the bed technique before, so that might be it might end well it might not end well <laughs> but um i've been doing some preparation off stream kompanwa starlight i've been doing some preparation off stream i've got a lot of beds and stuff you see there's um there's, there's all these sheep here there's all these sheep here now and i was using these guys to make beds there's a bunch of beds at a chest near the end portal right now actually I probably didn't need all that wool, whatever. Where's my... Alright, let me put all this stuff away first. Stuff that I don't need. I think I can put away these chests, and I'll keep them. Ugh, do I have a spare shield? I should probably make a spare shield as well, just in case. Uh-huh. Actually, I'll just make two of them, because I have infinite iron. So I made, like, I made this, like, semi-AFK cobblestone thing, and one of my villagers... Oh yeah, I put a door here now, so now I don't have to, like, run around every single time. One of the villagers in here actually sells diamond pickaxes, so I can just basically get three diamond pickaxes. Uh, oh, man. I'll probably put this away. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's head to the... I think I'm good to head to the end portal now. Why do I have an iron helmet on me? What the heck? Go away, I don't need you. Do I have extra water buckets? Probably do. Yeah, I have extra water buckets. Let's do that. Alright. I think I'm already completely prepared so let's just go to the let's just go to the end portal right now how has everyone been how has everyone been this week i've had a very stressful week but i had i did something fun yesterday i did something fun yesterday probably can't probably it's too much personal details to talk about it but i did something fun yesterday so i guess my week ended on a good note wait where's my sword hello Oh shit, I forgot to take the ender chest with me. I only have one ender chest. Uh, I forgot to take the ender chest. I don't have... If I want to make a second ender chest, I need to go get some blaze rods. <sighs> My week went normal. Well, that's better than bad. Good to hear. Okay, I need this guy. And I also need a sword. Why did I why don't I have two of them? Whatever. Is this a silk touch one? Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh shit, Mr. Stream, what are you talking about? You're not missing it right now. I got too much screen time and my eyes hurt. That's unfortunate because now you're going to get even more screen time and your eyes are going to hurt even more. <laughs> but it'll be fine for your stream. Thanks. Is it because you see my my godly, my amazing godly form is just soothing on the eyes because of its divinity, you know? All right, I'm not going to bother with these guys. All right, let's go. 
you guys remember the it's been a long time since i streamed minecraft but there's this like nether portal or not nether portal, just the nether fortress no not the nether fortress this actually the the stronghold itself was like super freaking hard to navigate and it took us like two whole hours to find the end portal in it that was one heck of a stronghold Ooh, seeing toaster will heal you yeah i'm just that amazing all right set and yeah you see i have all these beds here that i prepared i even prepared some like a secondary set of armor just in case i think we actually did that last stream i need to grab another water bucket ah. okay hold on two water buckets so i can make an infinite source and then leave some behind just in case Oh yeah, yeah, the door knocking from the zombies. What what else happened? What else was there? I used like a lava bucket to like dump lava on top of zombies or something. Pronounce my name practice. Uh, okay, let's just take this one. I'm gonna put away the special pickaxes. I don't need those. I don't need shovels. These are fire resistance potions? Okay. I don't need shovels. Eh, I can put that away. That's enough steak. Two stacks of arrows is enough. Oh, I should take some ender pearls with me. Yeah. Some of this cobblestone as well. I have water buckets. Don't need that. I probably don't need the spike glass. I have my shield. Alright, swap that out. Uh, torches? No, I don't need that. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't need shears. Combat it. Thank you, Sharky Gar. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think this should be good to go, right? Right? Oh, I have better falling on that. I totally forgot about that. That's gonna be uh, helpful just in case of emergencies. Okay. Okay, I know these are diamond tools, but I have villagers that trade for them, so it's fine for me to take these with me. <sighs> okay, I have my sword, axe, pickaxe just for the beginning. These things are either for MLGing or anti um, Enderman. A bunch of beds that I'm probably going to fuck up using. Obsidian. I need some obsidian, yes. I probably need to use some obsidian for the bed things. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm nervous. It doesn't need. I only. I only need to set my spawn point. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna go in on the count of 10, okay? One, two, three. Um, what comes after 10 again? What comes after three again? I, I, don't, I don't know how to count past three. I don't know how to count past three. Guess we're not going in there. <laughs> oh, 10 comes after 3? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 10! Please load faster. Oh, I don't like this at all. Um, shit. Oh my god. Yes, I can use the pearl to get up, but I want to have a passageway for later anyways. Speaking of which, let me just do this right now, just in case. Just in case I have to come back here and I... Oh, I'm sh <laughs> It's okay, I'm sure she won't charge me right at the beginning, right? Oh. Alright. Hello? What is- what is this? I hate this. Let me just bridge over.
Nope. 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 Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah, if the dragon had, like, charged right at the beginning, that would have been bad. But I don't think that happens very often, so it's fine. Alright, let me grab a bunch of water just in case. Why do I still- hold on. Let me change the music. Alright, this should be more epic. Okay, let's do this. I got this. Steak! Alright, we got s a bit higher, I guess. Hey, don't get in the way. Hello. Oh shit, did I really just look at that guy? That's stupid. Okay. Dragon's Breath? Oh god, I don't have any glass bottles on me. That's too late for that. And okay, so I think there's this tech where you can like shoot the crystal from the corner like this, I think. Oh shit. Yeah, see? And then, okay. This is a perfectly balanced boss fight, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs> okay, this one. Alright. Still quite a few, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, that was a good shot. I didn't think I'd just hit that one so easily. Okay, that was a good shot. Oh, I heard him shoot a fireball. Time to move. I'm not even looking at the Ender Dragon right now. I just listen for the sound effect of her shooting her fireball and move when that happens. I'll probably get fucked if she charges, though. Oh my god. This one is really annoying. Ooh! I got it! Is there one more? Is that one still alive? Boy. How many crystals are left? Oh yeah, that one's still alive. Okay. It's not bad time yet, guys. Oh my god. I need to kill all the crystals first. Uh, oh wow, that's good. Oh wait, shit. Nope, it's too late. She already landed. I can't do this yet. I tried! I tried. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I swapped it into my hopper at the last minute, but it still was not enough. Ow. Fall damage? Ow. Alright, where's my stuff? I need to grab my stuff. At least I didn't fall into the void. Oh, there's my stuff. And Ender Dragon's landing right now. Alright, give me all this stuff. 
Where did the surrounding stone go? It didn't spawn in. <laughs> Holy shit. Load faster, please. I was not expecting her to charge me again like that. All right, no more fall damage this time, please. Imagine Toaster playing hardcore. I would have lost already. If I was playing hardcore, I wouldn't even have tried to go in for that bad thing, to be honest. Oh my god. Where's my stuff? Oh my god. I need my stuff. Oh my god, please. Please. Alright, let me equip. Uh, yeah. Wait, that bed actually did do a lot of damage to her, though. Did I place this piece of obsidian? What the heck? When did I place that? <laughs> oh my god. I hope I didn't look at one of those guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are all these endermen after the dragon? I can't deal with it this way. I don't think I should... Mm. I don't think I... I don't think I should try the best thing if I don't know what I'm doing. Yikes. That was not good. Alright, my shield. Where's my shield? Ender Dragon, why are you just flapping there? Uh oh, did I hit one of the Endermen? Yeah, I did. I need to get rid of this Enderman first. Okay. Why don't you get bottles for Dragon's Breath? Lingering Potions, I don't think Lingering Potions are actually that useful. Uh, it's for achievements, I'm I'm not gonna try going for all achievements. It's fine. Oh shit! It's already coming down. Oh man, it's too late. Hello? Oh, I can't hit her from here. Why is she disappeared? <laughs> yeah. This is actually- I can do a lot of damage just by standing there and meleeing her, actually. Wait, in order to make this epic, I have to finish her with a bed. Alright, I'm gonna finish her with a bed. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait for her to land, and then we'll bed her, okay? Oh my god, I missed. Again. What if I were to put the bed there? Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Hello? Oh my god, I missed my chance. I accidentally put down a obsidian instead of right-clicking the bed. Oh my god. No, I probably just won't get launched up in the air if I right-click that one again. Why? The Ender Dragon is a perfectly balanced boss. Okay, that actually worked, and it didn't launch me there that time. Oh shit, wait. 
I don't want to end up inside the end portal. Well, all I can say is I'm not a speedrunner. I'm sorry. I tried, but the bed, the beds just juke me again. <laughs> I actually practice this so much in like creative and like on the test world, but I could never get it to work properly, and I still was not able to get it to work properly this time. That honestly was slightly underwhelming. Um, okay, where's the? <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god, you guys. Collect the egg, yes. I also... Okay, so that's already there. Now let's get the egg. I have all these beds left and nothing to do with them. <laughs> Wait, that... Okay. Alright, let's get the egg. Okay. Wow. Uh, that was Ender Dragon, folks. Perfectly balanced and challenging boss. Even without the bed thing, you can just stand in here and just hit it with a sword. And it does so much damage. Like, holy shit. Isn't this on hard? Yeah, it is on hard. The heck? Okay, so I think... For the rest of the stream, we're going to do Elytra hunting. Elytra hunting. We're going to go look for an Elytra. Let me actually change the title of this stream. Ender Dragon Dead. Let's hunt for an Elytra. <laughs> does the egg even do anything? No, it doesn't. All it does is... All it is is a trophy, like literally you just look at it and go like, yeah, I have it. Each server can only have one egg, even if you respawn the ender dragon, it never... It will never drop another egg. So like, having the egg is like, actually just like, yeah, I have the egg. Egg can be used for world eater, really? I didn't know that. Mm. Well then. That was actually underwhelming. Alright. <laughs> Not unless you're filthy ch to egg away before you lose it. You mean in here? Okay. I don't think I was going to lose it, but whatever. <laughs> Ender cake. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go spend all this experience. I'm gonna go spend all this experience. And then prepare... Well, I'm gonna spend all this experience, grab a bunch of stuff for finding an Elytra. And then... And then go find an Elytra. This one be fun. Oh my god. Wow, I just wanna take us like... Kills Ender Dragon in 10 minutes and then we're gonna take like 2 hours just to find a single end city. I'm calling it. It's gonna happen. Wait, am I? I'm not wearing gold, but these guys are just zombies. Okay. Just noticed that cool EXP bar. Yeah, who doesn't like RGB? You gotta have an RGB. I'm a I'm a gamer, so I have to have an RGB experience bar. You know? <laughs> RGB. It makes me better at the game. Ugh. Hello, guys. Um, never mind, I don't need anything from you. Alright. Alright, oh, I can just go in this way now. <laughs> um, um, alright, that's a lot of cobblestone. Did I take those chests with me? No, I did not, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let me grab all of these. Okay, oops. You know, I'm just gonna leave the dragon egg inside the ender chest. I feel like it's safer in here than inside a normal chest. And... Da, 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 da. Do I have a crafting table in here? No, I don't. Okay, so what I'm gonna need... I have mending. I don't have unbreaking three, but I have a regular book. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna need unbreaking three on one of these. 
And then... I think the rest of the experience I'm going to use on enchanting swords. And I... Th Let me think about what I want on my sword. Probably sh sharpness. Alright, I have this one with looting three. Imagine toaster SMP. I'm actually thinking about it for um, when 1.18 comes out. I might actually do a multiplayer server. And City will have good enchanted tools. Yeah, but I have to. S I mean, I have 61 levels. It would be a shame to lose all these levels, anyways. Might as well do some enchanting here. No, but I don't want knockback. Smite? No. Ugh. Okay, these are both bad. I can't. Can I roll this away? Yeah, okay. Is this 3 the highest on looting? Yes, it is. That's completely useless. I already have looting 3 on that one. This one's knockback and. What the fuck? This is giving me shit. I don't want any of this crap. Mmm. Fire aspect? What the heck? Uh, I'm getting crap. <laughs> Who will be in my SMP? All of you guys, of course. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna a, a, a public server, please. I'm sure I've I've heard some of you guys say that you want to play Minecraft with me before, I think. Sharkness 3, sure. Darkness 3, Fire Aspect, Unbreaking. Unbreaking goes up to 5, right? No, it only goes up to 3. What am I even missing right now? What am I even missing right now? Hold on, let me... Yeah, Fire Aspect is nice, but it has so much other crap on it. Oh, no, no, wait, this one's pretty good. The only problem is I don't like Knockback. Well, I suppose I can live with the fact that Knockback is on it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get our Lord and Savior Notepad. Notepad, where are you? Notepad, hello? Hmm? Hmm? You're not Notepad, go away. Alright, let's see here. Screen capture, window capture, notepad? Oh, I already have one for notepad, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Imagine using a Mac. Macs are good for work, though. I use a Mac for work. Alright, so what we want is Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, Looting 3, Mending, Sharpness 5, Sweeping Edge 3, and Unbreaking 3. So this is a maxed out. That's a maxed out sword, is all this stuff. Oh my god, it's so tiny. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I want to reset the size on this guy. Yeah, this is what we want. This is what we want. I don't know if you guys can read this because it seems kind of small. Let me, let me, let me make this a bit bigger. Yeah, this is what we want. And 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 then, so what we have right now is unbreaking three sharpness three. And so this is done. And we have sharpness 3 right now. And we have looting, so looting is done. This one has knockback, so knockback is done. Fire aspect is done. Sweeping edge, we're still missing that and we still need several levels of sharpness. So we have a 3 plus 3, so this is on 4 right now. That's also another 3. And we already have mending. Okay, so we're looking for Sweeping Edge 3 and another Sharpness 3, I guess. Oh, that's actually a lot closer to being finished than I thought it would be. Interesting. Still level 37. Okay. Nope, but this has Sharpness 3 on it. Okay, that's all the sharpness is done. 
We still need Sweeping Edge. I still want an Unbreaking Book. Hello? Unbreaking? Nope. Wait. Okay, that's all my levels. Alright, I guess... I guess we'll just have to deal with that for now. We can combine these later. Oh, wait. Sweeping Edge. Do I really not have Sweeping Edge? Mm. Alright, let me sleep. I use 13 inch to play Minecraft. 13 inch. What, what size is my monitor? Holy crap. I'm actually playing on an ultra wide. I know I mention this all the time. I'm playing on an ultra wide, but like, so like half of my screen is not actually even being streamed right now. <laughs> you guys can't see the edges of my, of my monitor. Let me just make another sword. I have a lot of diamonds. Okay, this one needs to have sweep. This one needs to be sweeping edge. Nope, that didn't work. I tried. I tried. Um. Okay, let me go grab. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! All right, let me go grab a bunch of iron and trade it for emeralds. Maybe we can hit level thirty just by trading. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking iron golem just died in front of our eyes. Boing, 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 boing. All right, all right, guys. Give me those emeralds. Why do I hear a zombie? Hello? No, not you. You? 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 Hello? Wait, armor, Fletcher, cleric, librarian, toolsmith, toolsmith, weapon, oh, weaponsmith, okay. Right, that's the one guy I was missing. <laughs> if there is a zombie in here, then they would all be just dead by now, to be honest. Yeah, work it, guys. Work it so I can trade with you again. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I heard you work. I heard you work. That means I can trade with you. And you too. Wow, look at that. We're level 30 already. All right, let me put that stuff away. Hold on. Where's my cleric? Why is your pickaxe named Soggy Bread? Because, because Mark II wants boiled bread, and it's soggy because it's Silk Touch. You know, you know, in order to like carefully, you, you know, because Silk is like really soft and stuff, right? So, so the pickaxe is also very soft because it's a soggy piece of bread, and that's why it has Silk Touch powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that that's definitely how this works, right? <laughs> Imagine getting ender pearls this way. Okay. I didn't want pulled bread, I decided to make it, guys. <laughs> it's because Mark 2 will cook anything I tell him to cook. Floppy pick. I mean, I have a fortune pick that's called breadcrumb, because, you know, like, when you hit, like, something that can be fortuned, a lot of pieces will pop, more pieces will pop out, like it's, like it's a bunch of breadcrumbs, right? That's why, that's why the fortune one is called breadcrumb. Nope. Okay. Holy shit, I can almost level up again. I heard you guys work. Let me trade. Nah, they probably already maxed out. I already traded a lot today. Okay. One hit enderman farm is pretty simple to make, yes, but that's not the goal of this stream. I feel like this is something I have to say every single time I play Minecraft, but there are many farms that exist, but there's also... Priorities. And my current priority is to get... Is to get my elytra. 
I want the elytra first before doing anything else. Speaking of which, I need to make fireworks. I need to make fireworks. Wait, do I want duration... Oh god, I think duration ones are... I've always felt that they're more efficient, so let me just make... Let me make one stack of duration ones for now. I personally like to use a mix of duration 1 and 3 fireworks for my elytra. That's just personal taste though. I don't think there's a signif... At a certain point, it doesn't really matter what you do. Put that away. Why is this so full of crap? Okay, let me take that out. Let me take the shovels out too, holy shit. I need this. Yes. All right, Anvil, you go here. And also a mending book. A mending book, you also go there. I don't need this many arrows for the end, right? I also don't need fire resistance for the end, so I'll just take those out for now. I would like to make a Enderman farm at some point in the future though. That's definitely on my mind for future streams. Crafting table, a bunch of chests, yes. An extra pickaxe? I don't really think I need an extra pickaxe. I should probably make even more chests to be honest. Let's make a bunch more chests like that. <laughs> Crafting table's there. Okay. And a bunch of food, but I can just eat if I run out. And... Oh right, I just want to enchant that sword, huh? I need sweeping edge. That's not sweeping edge. Just fire effect. Is that it? Man. Let me grab the looting one first. We can use this one for now because it's the best enchanted. I'll put mending on it once we have a path to um, enchanting everything because I don't want to like accidentally make the enchanting level too high. What else do I need? So I have everything needed to... No, I still want that. I still want an Unbreaking 3 book. Piercing 3? I guess I'll keep that for now. I have another book here. Forge? Oh, what is that? Oh my god. Okay. I'm just rolling this until it shows unbreaking. But I guess it's not gonna happen, huh? Unbreaking Doko. Oh shit, I accidentally put the level 2 one on it. Are you planning to kill Wither anytime soon? Uh, yes, but not in this stream. Do I even have three skulls? I don't have any skulls right now. Or Wither skeleton skulls. I don't have any. Unfortunate. Oh my god. Maybe... maybe... I wonder if my librarian has protection on him. Hello? Which one of you guys is the librarian again? There's so many of you, I can't tell you apart at all. Oh, there you are. He has respiration, what the heck? What the hecky? That's not useful at all. At least not for my current needs. Okay, where's the last guy? You? Eye patch man. Oh, I ran out of iron. The heck? Getting skulls is painful. I could make a wither skeleton farm too, but those are pretty, pretty advanced. All right, let's see here. All right, re-rolling until I get unbreaking three. Hello. Okay, now I need to hit level thirty somehow. Now I need to hit level 30 somehow. What level am I right now? 25? I can probably hit level 30 if I go... 
All right, you know what? I want to go to the... I can't believe I'm still using iron shovels. Oh my god, just... just... Goodbye. I have diamonds. Let me just make a diamond shovel. And then I don't have to worry about it breaking on me. I'm downloading Lenota right now. We'll let you guys... We'll tell you how it goes. Why are you downloading Lenota? There's so much more... Oh wait, let me get rid of this for now. I don't need no pack. Hello? Ow. Why am I on fire now? Please. Uh, okay. Because I can, but but why play Lenota when you can play Archaea instead? Well, okay, I guess that's not valid because we have a collab with them, huh? You gotta, you gotta prepare your fingers for Gengauzo on Tuesday, or whenever, wait, Tuesday? Did we actually announce when that update was coming out? Oh god. I hope I didn't just say something I wasn't supposed to say. Coming September 29th. Yes, that's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Gotta prepare... <laughs> Thursday? It might be, it's either Wednesday or Thursday or... Wait, is it Thursday 29? Sorry, today's Monday to... Oh, you're right, it is Thursday. Or, or Wednesday for me, I guess. Why did I say Tuesday then? Well, you gotta prepare your fingers for Gengauzo, you know? 155 BPM, I forgot how much it is to be honest. Archaea leaks never happened. I will never leak anything from Archaea. You see, that depends on one crucial fact, which is the assumption. That that depends on the assumption that I actually have anything to leak at all. And you know, maybe maybe I actually just don't know anything. Maybe I just don't know anything. God. Da, 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 da. You're on a train? Where are you going? Busan? Okay, that was not as much experience as I was expecting, but whatever. Hmm, hello. New content for long travel. Oh, you're going to play while on the train. I see. Wait, that, that means you're a mobile player. Or not mobile, but a um, yeah, a thumb player, right? Or are you telling me that you're going to play with a tablet on the train? Because I guess that makes sense too. Playing with a tablet on the train, I mean. It is possible to wait. Does that not give experience? Hello. That is my fortune pickaxe. Okay. Oh my god. This is not giving me as much experience as I was hoping. Imagine, I just want to dig nether quartz all the way to level 30. The day we get a Project Diva Clap is the day I get number one on the leaderboards. Yeah, that's not happening. That's not a simple... That's not just a simple matter of trying hard. You have to actually be good. Even I can't get number one on the leaderboards. Well, okay, I guess you can... Oh, I'm not wearing gold. That's unfortunate. I guess you can get number... Oh, yeah, you're right. I can just bully these guys. I don't have a safe spot to fight them from, though. How do I do this again? I can, like... I... Can I just do this? Is is this gonna work? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright guys. Um Yeah, you see this is where knockback doesn't come in handy. Alright, thanks for the sword, I guess. Oh, hello. Are you angry at me? Unfortunate. <laughs> uh, 
That's also not as much experience as I was hoping. Oh, another one's coming. Remember when pigmen didn't look like this? Yeah, and they weren't even called... Wait, these guys aren't pigmen. They're piglins. What are you talking about? Remember when piglins were called pigmen? It can't be me. Hello. Hi, welcome to the kill zone. Welcome to the splash zone. This is the Nickelodeon splash zone. <laughs> Maybe I should go do this in a more central location. <laughs> and also somewhere where they don't get knocked back continuously. Alright, let's see here. I like their floppy ears. Yeah, they're kind of cute, I guess. Um, you see, the main one, actually, one of the reasons I didn't bully um, piglins or zombie piglins earlier is because like the area around my ender portal actually fucking sucks. Like, it's, there's not enough spawning area for these guys to like super reasonably fight them like this, I suppose. Hello. Hey, get back here. Get back here. I forgot to. I've got my arrows. I've got arrows. Bonk. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're so. They're so. Amoral. They even make their children fight for them. They even force their children to fight. That's why. That's that's why zombie piglins don't deserve to live, because because they forced their children into battle. I would never do such a thing. I would never force my children to fight on my behalf. <laughs> because you see, as 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 the leader of a hive mind, um, children. The concept of children doesn't exist for me. Nope, it's not a problem. Haha. <laughs> You're not mad at me, right? Nope. Okay. Alright, are there any Ooh, there's a lot of them here. Hello. Oh my god, that's not what I meant to do. That's also not what I meant to do, but whatever. Alright, I need to not knock them off this platform while fighting them. <laughs> huh. Huh. Get back here. Oh wow, all of those guys down there are pretty angry now. But they don't have a way up here. That's unfortunate. Um guys. There's so many of them. <laughs> we are all your children. Yes, you are my children as the ch you are all the children of God. That's me, by the way. Oh my god, they're all coming. They're all coming. There's also gas over there, which I do not like at all. Because I forgot my arrows. Well, I guess it's time to do this. Oh my god. Yeah, how about no? Alright, let me come back here with some arrows. Arrows that I completely forgot. Actually, let me just... Wow, that's a lot of free gold. Fire resistance pot just in case. Oh yeah, you're right. I wasn't expecting to spend so much time in the nether, to be honest, which is why I didn't take anything with me. But uh, now that we're spending some time in there to get to level 30, I suppose I should be at least slightly prepared. Otherwise, I'm just going to get illidined on. I'm just going to get illidined on. I'm not going to be... You are not prepared. I'm going to be not prepared and I'll just fucking die. Die. Okay. Okay. Look at that useless zombie flesh. Air... What? Wait, why did I only put one stack of arrows in here? Right, the rest are here. Fire resistance potions. Um... What else do I need? What else do I need? That's all I need, right? I guess I can take a stack of building blocks with me. Oh, you see, don't don't gods always go like 
my like like metaphorical children not like genetic children right so you guys are all like my metaphorical children as a god you're all the children of god you know okay whatever if any if any regular piglins want to fight me then so be it i don't care that i'm not wearing regulation gold right now i hope that these guys are not still angry at me What? I didn't kill him? Hello? Ow. Uh, whatever. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I hear a regular piglin. Now he's gonna be mad at me for no reason. Okay, let's do this. Alright guys, get over here. I know there's a lot of you around. Right? You guys better not have all these spawned while I was away. Please. I hear you. Toaster, do you even know the toast religion? Since I am a toaster and you are creator, you have created me. Therefore, in some capacity, I'm related to you. Have you have you paid any attention to my lore? I am not the creator of toasters. I am an alien god who came to this world from my home planet because I because I was actually the god of a hive mind on my home planet, and I became interested in humans because humans are not a hive mind, right? And when I got here to Earth, I was very far away from my home planet. And because of that, I wasn't getting any more like worship energy from them. It's actually called um, thought energy. But you can think of it as me not being able to get any worship from my native species. And as a result, I decided to take on the mantle of being a god of something else, something that exists on Earth so that I can get worship energy from that. And because, because, um, Toasters look a lot like my alien species. I decided to take on the mantle of the god of toasters. And toasters are not my children. It's more that I, my existence as, or the, 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 the slot, the, the job opening of the god of toasters exists because there are toasters. So in a way, I'm actually the thought child of toasters. But wouldn't that make me your child? Wait a minute, I don't like where this is going. Whoa, 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 why did I jump off that? Hello, guys? Whoa, you have a, you have a... How did they reach up there? I guess I just didn't get up there fast enough. I'm not a fake god. <laughs> Guys, can you please pathfind better? Uh, this is not giving me enough experience either. I'm still only at level 27. Look, you're just standing on this like tiny little ledge. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh shit. If you're God, then what does, make, what does that make me? An artist who depicted God. <laughs> you see, the word mama does not literally mean that you are my mother. It is also a title. It is a title. Piglin's Doko. All right, I went back upstairs. I want to go check my villagers and trade with them again. The creator of God is still a god. Uh, 
All right. I'm not completely sure what you mean by that statement, logically speaking. The creator of God is still... Instead of first disciple, you're the first mom. Yeah, something like that. First mom of, of the... Of toast, toast, toastism, toasterism. Vroom. All right. Oh yeah, I don't. Look at how many villagers are in here. <laughs> Inside the Among Us drip, the 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 Among Us villager spawning thing. Uh, there's so many of them. They're just vibing there in that one by one space. I bet some of them have even watched as their friends suffocated to death or something. Probably. It's okay, they'll be fine. And they'll get over it, right? They will get over it. I just ran around even though there's a door here. A Toasters already had a god before. No, you didn't. You didn't have a god before. Toasters don't. The, the, the concept of toasters does not generate did not generate enough thought energy to to birth a god on its own. To be honest, it still doesn't really make enough thought energy to support a god, a real god. But like, it's mostly enough for me. And because I'm like streaming to you guys right now, that also means that your guys' like thought energy to me is also giving me a bit of extra. Um, a bit of extra power as well. I live almost almost literally this means that I live off of attention. <laughs> so you guys better pay me a lot of attention or else or else I'll literally die from starvation. How am I seriously just running out of iron? Alright, alright, alright. Let me put this stuff in here. And let me let me at least convert some of this crap into um, emeralds as well. <laughs> now we know why you ego saw so much. What? I never said anything about ego saw. I never said that I ego saw a lot. A lot. Why would I? Why would you get that impression? I know just because I know everything that anyone says about me. On the Arcade Discord doesn't necessarily mean that I'm ego saying. Am I? Oh my god! I actually don't have enough stuff to level up. Seriously? That's actually kind of annoying. I wonder if I trade in the other direction. Maybe that will work as well. Where's my like? Not librarian. Where's you? Yeah, yeah. Give me those bottles. All right. That's enough, I guess. So I am a highly intelligent toaster above all others since I can speak and support your life. Why are you able to speak? Are you really a toaster? I thought you were just a human pretending to be a toaster, Mark, too. <laughs> Sup, household electronic product. H hello, IV, the enjoyer. Hello, biological living creature. <laughs> uh, oh, right. I just want to make that... Protect or not unbreaking unbreaking and I need lapis. Yeah. All right unbreaking finally That took much too long we've got unbreaking grab a mending as well And then what we do here is we oh my god the anvils in here Okay All right this way is better too Okay, so this thing will go on the elytra once we find it. I don't need that anymore, I guess. That will go on the elytra once we find it. And I have a bunch of chests to make shulkers with, and a crafting table as well, of course. And building blocks. Yeah. Building blocks. <laughs> I don't think I need that many building blocks. But might as well. Okay, building blocks. Yes. Toaster, look at my name and think for a bit. Toaster Mark II, you are an advanced toaster. Ah, yes, of course. But who made you, Toaster Mark II? Who made you, Mark II? Who was your inventor? 
Who invented this highly advanced, super, comp super powerful toaster that is capable of going on the toast? <laughs> Toasty? Who who is this person? I I don't know who I don't know who Toasty is. I've never seen this person in my chat at all before. Compound Y Toasty, welcome to Toast Stream. I I guess you're a first time viewer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alice, that's her name. The name of your creator is Alice. Is that like your mom's name or something? Hold on. Okay, I don't need fortune. Honestly, I should probably put away both of my good pickaxes just in case. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Such a warm welcome. Welcome to Toaststream. Thank you for dropping by. I highly appreciate your 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 presence here in my stream. Okay. Let me just put more food in here to be honest. What? Where is all my Oh, it's next to the end portal, huh? Well that's fine. Do I need anything else? I don't need this. Theoretically, I don't even need those torches. All Toast eventually finds their way back to Toast's stream. Yeah. Toasty is just having a realization that they were a Toast all along. That's what's happening here. You don't really need that much to explore the end, huh? <laughs> you need a giant pile of cobblestone. You can just... Convert that to end stone eventually. And their pearls just, you know, for the first thing, and then your usual set of tools and armor. That's it. Alright, let's go. Go to the end and search for an elytra. Let me sleep first. Okay. Villagers. Shut up. Oh no, I actually forgot something. This. Almost forgot to take the anvil. That's very important. Hello? Where did you come from, sir? Ugh. Please. This is why I don't like knockback. Here, you can eat this horse. I don't need it. I like how everything's hella messy, lol. I really play Minecraft. The reason this is all really messy is because I haven't spent a lot of time playing this offline. Um, if I had spent more time on it, I definitely would have made things look better. But you can kind of think of this stream as me like semi speed running it. I'm not really speed running, but it's more like I'm focusing on I'm focusing on getting gear first and foremost. Like my my first priority is doing only what's necessary to get me my stuff as soon as possible. Ow! Stop! God, you hurt so much. So like, that's why I have like that tiny little cube house full of... dirt cube house full of villagers, because those villagers actually end up being very useful for progression. Like, I get so much stuff from the villagers. But at the same time, I didn't invest any time at all into building them a better house. A better like better area for the villagers normally i would make a prettier trading hall but that's not my current priority and that's why it's like that all right why do i even need this oh right because you can still hit shulkers with them yes the only thing on okay okay okay, okay. Nom 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 Yes, I have so much extra stuff in here as well. <laughs> All those beds, a product of a bygone time and day. Wait, so did you leash them and put them in a dirt store? Uh, no, you can't, you can't leash villagers. Because because Mojang said that leashing villagers is um 
it's a Gavina war crime or something, so it's a war crime to, to put villagers on leashes. I put them in minecarts and then shoved them inside that hole. That's how I did it. A little random puddle of water. Wait a minute. Oh, I do have two. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. Oh my god, I hate... I hate building up to this thing. It's annoying. Uh, how high up is it? It's so hard to tell. You know what? I'll just build the staircase upwards later. I'm just gonna make a... I'm just gonna make a... Pillar. Alright, let's go. One... Two, three, ten. All right, coordinates, coordinates. That's not the right button. I just want to pin this. Exit at negative three, three, six, one, oh, two, zero. In case I really want to make a getaway, I can just go through those coordinates. <laughs> Off topic, some dude had an opinion on Grievous Lady being hard in Azeroth and that some called him a jackass because comparing difficulty is stupid. Comparing difficulty between two games? I mean, if you're like really good at both of those games, you might- Oh fuck, why did I look at that guy? See, this is why I don't like Fire Aspect, because this happens. Now this guy's just going everywhere. <laughs> Thank you for the Ender Pearl, I guess. Oh, I should grab some chorus fruit as well too. Kompanwa Inseki. Like, comparing difficulty is It's a it's a necessity of rhythm games to have a way to compare difficulty within a game itself. But I'm not really sure that you need a way you need to compare difficulty between two different games. Or at least like on a very objective basis. Especially because <laughs> Hey guys, I forgot where the exit is. Could you post it in chat please? Alright, let's do this. Let's go let's go search. Enderman, please stop. I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. I'm only gonna hurt you if you guys try to hurt me. Okay? Deal? Deal? I've only ever done a Elytra search in Survival Vanilla like two times before, I think. But I feel pretty confident about it. It's not like too hard or anything. So it should be fine. I'm gonna put the water bucket in there as well. Oh my god, none of these platforms are close. I'm gonna have to bridge for like two hours. How about that one? That one seems to be... Nah, I'm just gonna bridge to this one instead. Uh, okay, this is the part that makes me very nervous. I think I... I actually forgot something. Oh, it's just clone world and slash locate. That's cheating. I actually forgot to bring something. I forgot to buy super glue for my pinky. I forgot to buy super glue to glue down my shift button. Control key? No, it's shift. OMG, watch out, there's a snake. Oh! oh, wait, hold on. Control Primity. Do you switch your control and shift for Minecraft? <laughs> I guess it makes sense because every other game in the universe uses control for, for um, crouch and shift for sprint. But for some reason, despite the fact that I do play other games that use the regular control scheme, I still cannot get used to doing it that way specifically in Minecraft. So like, like I play a lot of Apex and I definitely use shift for sprint and control for crouch and slide, you know? OMG, there's a place, watch out. 
Fight me! Fight me! Imagine, a Blaze wanted revenge on me so bad that they... Okay, made it here. That they chased me all the way to the end. Catherine just slaps for double blocks. Oh, that's actually... Yeah, I could have done that. And then I could also go on the top half to prevent more Endermen from spawning, huh? I never thought of that before. Oh my god, this island was so small. I should have seen that one coming. Didn't see that one coming. I guess that one's the closest one. Question, how do you press control? I use my palm, but I think it's weird. Actually, I use my palm too. <laughs> I use my palm sometimes. So, so you're not the only one who uses your palm. Don't worry. I am a fellow, I am a fellow palm control hitter. I want to just put these away. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. What? Oh, holy shit. I should not have put this so close to the wall. It's okay, I have better falling. Oh god. Um... <laughs> that- that didn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. I almost thought I lost my ender chest for a moment there, and then I would've had to run back and like, you know, get another one. That would've been really unfortunate. That was really close. I should not have put that so close to the edge. That's my own fault. I'm almost definitely going to drop the- You know what? Okay, I'm going to make a note to not drop the dragon head now. I'm going to make a specific effort to build all the way around the dragon head so that I won't lose it. Lose your ender chest speedrun any percent world record. <laughs> Okay. 48. Wow, thank you, Optifine. Alright, actually, yeah, let's see if Optifine can find me. Let's see if... Let's see if we can find an end city using max render distance. <laughs> Everything's still loading, though. Now, this might take a while. Uh huh, uh huh. Can you see those chunks off in the distance loading in? <laughs> I'm sure my PC is fine right now. The end is not very, is not that intense on world gen. Because if my PC was dying, then the stream would just... Oh my, the FPS sure is dropping. Um, so what I have learned is that there are no end cities. Pfft. Hello? Let us watch the chunks load in. <laughs> Wait, wait, there's one right here. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my god, the FPS, guys. The FPS! It's down to 20 FPS. Oh my god, bridging across to that is going to be so annoying. Um, oh shit, that's far. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the chunks down again. Because I don't want to be doing this on max view distance. Alright. We know where to go. We know where to go. There's there's even a boat there, so um, I guess we just have to go this way, huh? Oh my god, that is so far away. Okay.
You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> this is this is the real pro strat right here. Can't let go of sneak if you just use toggle. This is a very long bridge, so I really do not want to risk this at all. Say goodbye to all your blocks. I have a lot. I have a lot. It should be fine. The slab thing is really gonna... is very helpful. This is peak Minecraft. Unfortunately... Minecraft. Peak Minecraft gameplay right here. <laughs> Before I started streaming, one of my friends told me that there's only three kinds of VTuber content. Um, and I think those three types were... were, were, were Zatsudan, Karaoke, and Apex or something like that. And then I asked them what about Minecraft, and they said that Minecraft is a subcategory of Zatsudan. Unfortunately for everyone, I don't have very many interesting things to say today. Because my brain is dead. My brain is dead. Like... This whole past week, I've just been dealing with so much stress. And it's not- not- it doesn't have anything to do with the recently announced, um, Arkea update, by the way. It's something... I guess I would say it's too personal to talk about, so... Unfortunately... I'm not going to say anything about it. How many cups of coffee have you had today? Two cups of coffee. I woke up at like... Okay, let me tell you guys. I woke up at like... <laughs> like 3. 3 p.m. or some shit. Because during the week, especially because of work, I just... I stayed up really late every single day because I was just like thinking about things. And then I ended up not getting a lot of sleep because I still want to wake up at like a proper time, at least during the weekdays. I always want to wake up at like a, a consistent time, which is to say sometime between 12 and 1 p.m. <laughs> on weekdays. And so as a result of that, I didn't get as much sleep as I would have liked during the week. And so both of these days during the weekend, um, both Saturday and Sunday, I slept in so fucking late. I slept in so fucking late and I still feel tired. I feel like I've... Sometimes I do get into this like really bad cycle as a result of stress and then like the stress is partially caused by me being too tired to um... Too tired to not be able to work as well as I would like to. And then it just cycles. Ow. But like, one thing I'm very lucky- one thing that I'm very lucky to have is that I guess my workplace is very understanding about like stress and burnout. So at the very least, they're not like forcing me to be in this state. It's kind of like a self-imposed thing. There are about 10 toasters with the ability to speak and think and all of them are inside this stream right now. <laughs> Hear yourself jogging in the morning, oh my god. I don't want to, I don't want to exercise. Okay, boat. Boat. Wait, let me eat first. I slept like a baby since I started doing it in this year. Oh, yeah, jogging in the morning. Uh, maybe I should think about... What the? Aren't you convenient? <laughs> Aren't you convenient? Well then. I don't even have to go back and look for like a... I know, right? This is like so rare. It's just right there. Oh no. You, 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 
Shulker, you thought you were hurting me by making me float up? Joke's on you, I'll use you for elevation on purpose. Convenience 100. Okay, um, I still have a very high long way to go. Let me keep on pillaring. This is also why I brought a bunch of ender pearls with me. I brought these ender pearls because I wanted to use them as a way to exit from the from the shulker elevator, <laughs> as I like to call it. Can you not recombine these in vanilla? Nope. Unfortunate. Hello. Hey, don't, don't leave. Oh my god, there's so many Endermen here. All right, Endermen, you guys are in the way. Cool. All right, we're in. We're in. We're in. Ooh, give me those healing potions. Let's grab that as well. Hello. Thank you. All right, Curse of Binding. Fuck that shit, man. That's a good shovel. What the heck? I wasn't expecting to actually find useful things in these chests, to be honest. Nice! We got it. Only took one end city, too. What the heck? This has been a very lucky day. Didn't... Well, we had a good time fighting the end dragon. Okay, we did it. No, I died like two times fighting the end dragon. Never mind. <laughs> good gaming chair. Yeah, I know, right? I wish my gaming chair was this good every single day. It's not always. Wait, wait, wait. All right, there it is. Flying toasters. Oh, a lot of my protection comes from my chest plate, though. Hmm. That's unfortunate. All right, let's go fight a few more shulkers so I can actually get a few shulker boxes. Now find a second one? No, I don't need to. Why do I need two? I'm not going to lose this one. Probably, hopefully. No, I want to grab a bunch of... Of shulker, shulker shells now. Shulkers. Oh wait, hold on. Let me grab my fireworks. All right. Hello, bullets that can only move in geometric patterns. Doesn't this have looting on it? Oh, it only has looting too. Oh. Where did you go, sir? Ah, feels good to fly. Feels so good to finally be able to fly, guys. After 10 years, we finally have gear. We finally have gear. Ah. I've missed it. I've missed my flight. Oh god, there's so many of them here. Um. Okay, yeah, but not having that protection chest plate is kind of hurting me right now. Guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stuck. They won't stop hitting me. I'm floating forever. Oh my god. Seriously? Please. Let me hit you with my looting sword. Ah! This is annoying. No, maybe I should approach them from the bottom instead. <laughs> uh, all right. Ow. You fools, you're only giving me an easier path to kill you. All right, let me eat this. All right. Let me down. Ouch. 
it's okay. I have Featherfall. Ouch. Oh my god. Let me grab some of these for decoration too. Alright, I'm not going down there. Where's my Elytra? Ow. Oh wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me make a few shulkers now. What? I only have enough to make one? Why? These guys have not dropped me as many as I would have liked. Well, whatever. One's good. Efficiency three? I don't want that. Three, I don't need that. that. Imagine beetroots. Imagine going all the way to the end to get beetroot. <laughs> You have to project how a sword and yeah, I know, but I'm too lazy to. I'm too lazy to. It's my own fault. I'm just being lazy. If I wasn't being lazy, then I would actually try to fight back, but I'm just like, uh, why? You play arcade with thumbs on an iPad? Yes, it's not gonna be you're not gonna have a good time, but yes, you can. Okay. All right, let's go find more of these dudes. Hello? Get out of the way. Okay. All right, there should be one at the door here. Okay, there's one more shell. These bullets are juking me. Oh, my God. oh no. My reflexes are too terrible to hit the bullets back is the problem. <laughs> Why are you shooting these so fast? No! I am not gaming right now, guys. I am not gaming right now at all. And then he teleported away. Great. Ugh. I don't... Oh, you're right here. What the heck? Thank you. Only one? Hello? Oh my god. I just launched like a torrent of like 10 bullets at me. What the heck? Oh, well, looting for an off. Wait, does that still work? What the Can you really still do that? I didn't know that. I thought like that didn't work anymore or something. Oh my god, seriously? Uh... <laughs> Ow. Uh... I haven't played aim labs in too long for this. Uh... Wait. Ouch. All right. This is what will happen if bullets was 3D. Well, I suppose because the bullets are only moving in like cardinal directions, you are correct about that. Holy shit. Oh, the dragon head. No, I forgot about that. You're right. Did I, did I aggro an enderman? What the heck? Let me go grab the... Ow. Let me go grab the dragon head. Where's it? Oh, 
Okay. Okay, dragon head is here. All right. I am not going to drop the dragon head into the void. Let us avoid doing that. Haha. Huh? I swear to God, if that Enderman, if this guy, if this guy teleports all the way up here and just hits me, I'm going to be so mad. All right, dragon head. You're not going anywhere. What the? I broke the wrong thing. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got the dragon head. It did not troll me. And my ender chest did not troll me either. You're not dead yet? I'm gonna grab some torches too. I use torches to mark things, so I'll probably grabbing that torch to mark things with. Wait, chest. All right, two more shulkers. Still not enough. I want a lot of these, but I suppose this place is probably going to run out of shulkers before I can fill up an entire ender chest with them, huh? That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> what they doing down there? <laughs> They're duking it out. What the? I feel jabated. I feel jabated. Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. I don't want to be- get me off of this ride, please! <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Why am I so bad at this? Why am I so bad at this? Fighting shulkers. Shulkers are an Avenger level threat, guys. These guys are harder than the Ender Dragon. These guys are harder than the Ender Dragon. And if you die to a Shulk... Ow. If you die to a Shulker, then like... You're just fucked because you're so far in the middle of nowhere. If you die to the End Dragon, you can just jump back into the End Portal and you'll be... F you can get all your stuff back. But if you die to a Shulker, then it's just... Fuck. Seriously? Look, these guys are just hanging out there. Please. <laughs> Open up. Open up. Dulkers make everyone look bad. Yeah, I know, right? Look, these guys are just like... These guys are just like disrespecting my bow right now. They literally like... The fucking arrows are just bouncing off of it. Oh, and, and then he teleported. Great. Let me pick all these arrows that I missed with backup. Uh, look, that one didn't even drop a... Sh Hello, sir? Would you please open your mouth for me? Yes, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Huh. Hello. All right, let me go grab that. <laughs> I don't- I don't want to It'll fly up there with my light, but it's probably not gonna work. Okay. Do, 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 do. I wonder if there's any ones inside this building. Should be, right? I hear the noise. I hear them. I always find it funny that, like, Mojang designed the end city to be traversable in, like, adventure mode, basically. Like, there's all these, like, little things that you can jump on top of, but, like, no one actually use, No one actually uses them in real life because you just have... You can just build. You can just build your way up this thing. 
and then like if you try to actually jump up it you just make a fool of yourself like i just did sir uh... oh my god that's stupid That's the reason I use duration ones, is because you can make shorter trips without wasting a bunch of resources. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, there's one over there. I didn't even notice him. Okay, I somehow managed to avoid three of them. But... Ow. Oh, have I really not been here yet? The end city looks architecturally nice. Yeah, I kind of don't like breaking blocks in the end city for the same reason that it like actually is pretty aesthetic but i need end rods they look nice where are these guys duking it out oh of course they're on the side like usual uh please oh man i almost looked at an enderman there Thank you for dying. Oh my god. Ow! Hello? I was doing something else and cut my arm. What? What did you do? What did you do to your arm? Oh my god. Please. Please. No more of this. Stupid cubular bullets that don't move in a predictable manner. I guess I guess we're just here now, huh? Just loading up. Loading up, listening to these guys go blah, blah, blah. God. I will make you pay one day. I can't believe he was protected by the end rod. Okay. Why is there another one? It's on the edge? Or is it inside? Well, if I can't see him from here. Let me check inside to see if he's- Oh, there he is. Why do you shoot a second one so fast? Told you I cut it, but how? What were you doing that caused it to get cut? Were you like making food or something? Hello, sir. All right, you're inside this one, right? Hello. Please do not resist. Oh, okay. Oh my god, did that thing really fall all the way to the bottom of this? It did. Ouch. <laughs> it would be so embarrassing if I fell to my death, but I'm kind of confident because I have um, Feather Fallen. Okay. Where are you? Are you on the edge of this thing? Hello. Open up. Open up. This is not the FBI. I just want to I please open up Shulker son. You've been closed off. You've been closed off to me for so long. I want to know what's going on. Oh, I guess he died. Okay. Are there any more? Let me go fly around and see if I hear any more blah, blah, blah. Oh, there's one in there. Blah. 
Maybe I really should just approach from the roof. I don't want to use too many firework rockets unnecessarily though, because I don't have a I don't have a source of firework. Oh wait, wait, I could just do that, huh? What the heck? Thank you. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Alright, let's see. I have six, so I can make another three shulker boxes. Still not enough. And I'm probably going to run out of shulkers in this end city pretty soon. It's not like a particularly like massive one or anything. Like I've already, I've already looted that, right? That's the only loot room in this end city. Implosion? What's implosion? Is that a what kind of game is it? Is, is it a, a standalone game or is it like a mod setter? Oh, hello! Wait, 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 I heard one over here. Dead Rayarch game? Oh, Rayarch's like MOBA. What the? Huh? Where did that come from? Well, whatever. Oh, wait, you're on the other side. All right. All right, once I get down from here, I'm gonna beat your ass. Did not drop anything, unfortunate. Nah, I probably am, would not want to play the Rayarch game, unfortunately. Hello? What the? Are there two of them up there? Open up! I just want to know more about you. You've been- what? Where are you go? Don't just leave me like that, please. Shulker son, it's been five years, you've never told me what's wrong. <laughs> These past five years, I've wondered what's been bothering you the whole time. Was it- was it because of- was it because of Ender Draggy's death? It wasn't my fault, she was out of- she had gone crazy, her mind was infected by the parasite. There's nothing that we could do about it, Shulker son. I had to do it. It had to be by my hand. Don't you see? Don't you see, Shulker san Anyways. What of you to assume the Ender Dragon's gender? Isn't the Ender Dragon like canonically female, actually? Please. Why did you have to teleport away? I think it's like actually been canonically stated that the Ender Dragon is female somewhere. Either that or um, it's because she drops an egg, right? So she has to be female. Did not drop a shell. Wonderful. Oh wow, they're having the, they're duking it out in here. Hello? Are they upstairs now? Everyone just refers to the Ender Dragon as her, yeah. I see the Ender Dragon as non-binary. Well, you could also say it's bold of me to assume the Shulker's gender. <laughs> How about we just say that this particular Ender Dragon was a... G. It's for the story, you see? It's the plot. Alright. He did not drop one either, seriously? The other one's underneath, I think? Oh my god, not this shit again. Here we are, flying through the sky. Uh, I gotta get ready for when this buff wears off so I can do that. Alright. Hello? Please. Why do you guys have to teleport at the worst possible times? I just need your shells. You guys have a purpose to serve, and that purpose is to become my superior inventory management system. 
Okay. Oh my god, they're gonna turn me into an inventory management system! Hold me, shut up your son! Hold me when Steve comes and takes us! Oh my god, what are you doing here? Oh my god, I can't be bothered to wait. Die already! You didn't even give me a shelf, please. Uh... Alright, I guess I got one more from that. Oh my god. This looting 2 is a lie. I want looting 3. I want to go back and get my looting 3 sword for the next Ender City. For the next end city. Let me down! Thank you. Okay, I guess I have eight now. Hello? Oh, there's one at the top of this, okay. Well, goodbye, Enbrod. Alright then. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. And it did not drop the shell. Well, I guess we'll just have to deal with what we have. Okay, let's see here. Oh wait, I don't need those. I think four more, that's pretty good. Oh wait. Let's see here. Let me put all of these in here. And this one was one that I was using to just hold random trash, right? Put all this stuff in here. No, I'm not. I just want more boxes. These are so useful. I think that's... Eh, it's, there's probably not any more left in here, is, are there? Dulkers, I mean. And then I hear one. Ow. that? All right, Shulker. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, cool. I got another shell from that, which is useless because I don't have one right now. Okay, please. 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 <laughs> okay. Ow. Well then. Well, let me just gather up a few more end rods. You can see my bridge over here. Isn't that beautiful? This goes into the void. No, if I was playing on a server, then I wouldn't have been able to increase my render distance. Because on a server, so there's a server side limit for the render distance, then you just wouldn't be able to do that. Hello? I hear another one inside here. Why? They don't respawn, right? Maybe I'm just really bad at finding them? Oh, this one's on the wall. Maybe here? Hello. Oh, thank you. Alright. I guess that's one more. One more shulker box. Okay. I think I'm ready to leave from this one. There's probably not much, many more to find. I'll have to go and look for another end city later to grab more shulker boxes. Hello. 
Thank you. All right, I think I'll just leave now. <laughs> These end rods are not worth it. Wait. Hello? What the? You're right there. What? Where do you come from? Um. Goodbye. Where did you go now? Are you indoors? Are you indoors? Are you indoors? Knock knock. Poster here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did he go? He or she. Hello. Oh my god. Please. Why? Why? And he didn't even drop a shell. Disrespectful. Should learn to respect the god of toasters more. Okay, I'm actually leaving this place now. Got the elytra. We got a decent amount of shulker shells. I'd say we're a lot more geared up than before now. All right. Pretty good. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> that was my only one. <laughs> they can duplicate now, yeah, but was that because they were duplicating off of each other? I thought like the duplication chance was actually really low because I looked into shulker farms before and it seemed like you have to get a lot. You have to do a lot to make a shulker farm work because of how rare, or not how rare, but like how um, hard it is. Oh yeah, yeah, how rare the, the duplication rate is. I don't think that's something that's like very trivial to do. Or to set up, I mean. Like they can only duplicate out of sheer luck at this point. Because they also damage each other whenever they do the duplication thing, so that's another big problem. Alright. Let's go back home. Whoop! God damn it, why did I set my spawn point here? That's annoying. So let me grab this stuff. Let me grab that stuff and put it inside a box, actually. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I guess I guess... I guess I don't need those four things anymore. No, not that one. Where is... Alright. He's going here. Yeah. That goes in there. Oops, that's not what I meant to do at all. Let me grab my fortune pick back. Alright. Silk touch, yes. Alright, back home. Back home we go. Ah! Wait, 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 I was drinking water. Please don't take me back. Wow. Oh wait, I saw my lights are on, don't I? Uh. All right, let's see here. What do I need to do? You know what I really want to do now? I want to find a jungle. I want to find a jungle so I can get um scaffolding. I want to find a jungle so we can get bamboo for scaffolding. So let's do that next. Goodbye, White Howe. It was nice seeing you here. Yes. Bamboo for scaffolding. This is probably going to take me like 10 years of flying in a straight line, but I guess we'll just have to do it. Alright. Let me sort my inventory first. Alright, these slabs are no longer needed. Oh wait, hold on. They could still be useful. Let me hold on to them. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's organize a bit. Oh wait, these are all empty. Okay. 
And this one? Where's the one with all the shit in it? Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, look at these Curse of Binding items. Wow, useless. Curse of Binding goes in the Shame Corner. Shame Corner! Curse of Binding, useless. Who would want that crap? All you can do with Curse of Binding is troll people. Iron armor, useless. I guess I'll keep you guys as collector's items. So you're, you have use as a collector's item because you look funny. Imagine actually making iron armor. Couldn't be me. Let me grab all of this crap and put it in here. <laughs> this is the cobblestone box. Inside the cobblestone box, we put cobblestone. Actually, hold on. I want to color- oh my god, that's not what I meant to do. I want to color these boxes. Where's ink sack? And give me a bone meal. Give me a bone meal. Ink sack and bone meal. Black and white dye. Okay, and then we make a gray dye. And this one... Yes. Grab the anvil. We'll call this building blocks. And then we will dye it gray. Hello, building blocks. That's a lot darker than I was expecting. Hmm. Maybe I should have made it light gray instead. Well, uh, whatever. Nice sugar cane garden. Yeah, I know, right? It's just manual. The reason I made all the reason I put so many of these here was because I originally wasn't expecting to use paper for trades with the villagers inside that dirt box. But I ended up actually just using a bunch of um iron from the iron farm instead the the iron farm which is currently incomplete and only contains one module that's something that i have to finish up at some point as well oh i have two shulkers wait two more shulker shells okay okay now i'll keep the iron sword for novelty as well well maybe not this is starting to get kind of full soul speed it's sunny outside, I'm gonna go scamped boarding with my dog. Bye bye, Toaster. Goodbye, Toasty. It was nice. It, it, uh, th thank you for coming to my... To, to coming to my... For coming to my stream. <laughs> thank you for coming, first time viewer. Okay, okay. This shit goes here. Full blocks go there. Die goes here. Emeralds? What the heck? I have a billion of those. Whatever, I guess you can go there. Do I have... Oh my god, let me grab some more bone meal. Did I just drop that on the floor? No, it's a mandatory. Okay, 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 okay. White plus blue equals light blue. Wow. This one can be... This one can be, um... This one's the potion box. That's why it's light blue because potions are light blue, obviously. And this one, this one can can be. Uh, what what do we name the the potion box? Nomi Nomi Kai. <laughs> Nomi Kai. <laughs> why did I name it that? I don't know, but that's why it's that's what it's called now. Oh wait, while I'm at it, I might as well put the healing potions in there, huh? Where are they? Oh, were they in the other box? Probably. Wait, what? This one, right? Yeah. Alright, all potions can go in here. Hello, potions. Potion box, thank you. And then... These are my Takara Monos. Takara Monos. Have you ever needed 10,000 water buckets? Because I don't. Let me go empty out this water. Hello! Is that a fishing rod? What the heck? I didn't know you guys could spawn with fishing rods. Well then. Alright. Oh my god. Endless water bucket emptying noises. <laughs> Nomi Kai, you know, I don't know why it's called Nomi Kai because there's no one me. It's it's 
I know it's an inaccurate name, but I still named it that. It's a meeting of drinks, you know? All the drinks are meeting inside that shulker box. That's why it's called Nomikai. Uh, oh, I already have it. What the heck? Whatever. I'll just do that for now. Um, what is this unenchanted diamond shovel? Didn't I have one that was enchanted? Right, over here. Efficiency 3? No, I don't need that. Useless. I already have perfect pickaxes. You can go in here for novelty. Wait. Unbreaking 3, efficiency 5, fortune 3. Is that not perfect? No, it's missing something. What is it missing? Mending. Right, it doesn't have mending. But who needs a fortune shovel? If only this didn't have fortune on it, then I could get like silk touch on it instead. Mm. I suppose I can use this shovel for now. I will begrudgingly use it, despite the fact that it has fortune on a shovel. Fortune on a shovel? Is this going to be useful for archaeology in 1.18? Hello? Uh, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyone want to argue about Arcade Lore? No. Whatever you're about to say is probably incorrect. In my mind, at least. Alright, another brewing stand, I guess. Make one more of these. Useless iron. I guess the gold is kind of appreciated. Alright, these guys can all go in here. Oh wait, I empty out too many of the water buckets. What the heck? I actually do need at least like two of them. And then one more in my actual inventory. So three in total. You guys can all go there. Yes, very nice. Huh? 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 What is this random unbreaking free pickaxe? I don't need you. I'll grab all these arrows as well. And these leads, and a boat, and a compass. Wow, that's useful. Diamond horse armor? Wait, does my guy have diamond? He doesn't. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, you are now decked out. Um... Guys, where'd you come from? All right. Everything in Minecraft looks non-binary except the main character. Yeah, that's probably true. And the, the, the fact is that there is both a male and female main character, Steve and um, wait, Alex is her name. Yeah, so they are obviously gendered. But I suppose it is true that the rest of them are not gendered, huh? Why do I need obsidian? I don't. I don't need obsidian. <laughs> Let me put that away as well. Oh, that's the wrong box. Obsidian goes in here. Okay. Gender sounds like a main character privilege. In the main character, Steve has so much privilege in this game. He's like the only person who can magically like construct blocks out of thin air among a bunch of other magical mysterious things you know he can like he's the only person who can like willingly carry a bunch of items he's the only person who can who can trade with villagers truly steve is just capable of so much that none others are capable of i don't know why i was about to put tnt in there to be honest Look at this random redstone ore. Couldn't be me. Hmm. Where's my smooth stone? Let me grab all the smooth stone I have. Give me that smooth stone. Thank you. Alright, hold on. Let me take the building blocks box out again. I don't actually need this much cobblestone. Let me put this and that in there as well. Fancy building blocks. Smooth stone. Speaking of smooth stone, I should start cooking some stone. It's my favorite building material, so I'm going to need a lot of it later. Mm. 
All right. Dude, I don't have cocoa beans. Crap. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't die that brown. What's this? Base in a box. Base in a box. Speaking of base in a box, it probably needs some furnaces as well. And then... What's this adventuring gear? Adventure ring gear. What color should adventuring gear be? Kompangwa Alexis. Long time no see. Wait, you haven't been in my I haven't seen you in my stream for quite a while, I think. No, no, no. You were definitely here in one of my earlier recent ones. I'm I don't know if I'm doing that fine right now. I'm pretty tired. I just I've already accomplished everything that I set out to do this stream, which was kill the Ender Dragon and get an Elytra. Which is right here. So I'm kind of like I'm just organizing mostly right now, but I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go fly out and find bamboo. Bamboo. What color is adventure here? What color should that be? Yellow? Maybe yellow? Do I have dandelions? Yes. I'll see your base is very do you not like it? No, I'm gonna be improving this base later as well. Where's adventuring gear? Hello. Adventuring gear, base in the box, Nomi Kai, which makes no sense. Then everything else here will just be used for trash. For now. Oh, wait. All of this goes in adventuring gear, doesn't it? Asa Synthesthesia, someone with Synthesthesia, what color adventuring is. Yeah, that's actually a good question. <laughs> Some problems happen and actually I'm not on my home. Oh, that's unfortunate. I hope whatever is not going well for you gets better. Kon Panwa Klefki. Okay, Flint. And the Spyglass. And a stack of torches. And the shears as well. Also, I guess I can put half of these arrows away so I don't have two stacks in my inventory. Alright, this goes away. Goodbye, Golden Horse Armor. You are no longer needed. Bone meal, I think, goes in here. It actually goes outdoors, but whatever. Chorus flowers, yes. I will plant those one day. Today is not that day. I need to be careful about how many firework rockets I use. We're still on a budget for now. Budget of firework rockets until I make a farm for them at least. Why do I have a hay bale again for fall damage protection? I think. Yeah, that would go in adventuring gear as well. I guess I'll just keep the dragon stuff in there as well. <laughs> that way I can never lose it. This is adventuring gear. And so is. No, this is there. Milk touch, yes. I don't have it as far as I don't know if the word adventure seems like purple or green. You want to build a TTT later? Where the hell they're called? Yeah, I want to make it. It's not a wait. What was the original? The original one from Amen made it was no, no, no. The original one was actually the JP one. What was the JP one called? Wasn't it PPP because Pekoda built it? I think. And then Ame made like a different version that was called TTT or something. What's that toaster's tall tower? <laughs> oh, you mean what I was going to call mine, not what the all life ones were called. <laughs> Ames is also called PPP. Oh, okay. I don't have as many fireworks as I would like for this, but let's go. Savannas are usually close to jungles, right? Oh, hello, random desert village. How many things I lost? I'm almost gone from that for like two weeks. I mostly played a. Oh, I finished a Mori, and aside from that, I don't think I did too many like particularly exciting things. But you didn't miss out on too much, I think. PVP stands for that one Apollo song, LOL. Hey, what, what, which one? Okay. 
Uh, did you guys just see that sand randomly fall? Uh, hello? Wait, there's ice here? Holy shit, this is notable. Wait. This is actually a notable place. Let me write this down on my notepad. Uh, blue ice, yeah, I know, right? This is actually useful. So this is at 1830 and negative 290. Save Minecraft notes. I need to save this first. Save to desktop, I think. <laughs> Minecraft notes, and this is ice biome. I don't have a particular need for ice right now. So I guess I can just mine out. I might as well just mine out like one of these things because I'm here, right? All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Look at how fast this goes. I have to be careful to act when you're mining at this speed. I actually have to be careful not to use up too much durability, even though my pickaxe is like perfect. Uh, Hollow X Craft. Every time I need to search your channel, I need to type Toaster Archaea. Just search a toaster, just search up a bunch of toaster videos. Yeah, unfortunate. My name is not very SE, it's not very well built for SEO. NGL Minecraft balance destroyed all my biology knowledge. Now, what are you talking about? Minecraft? Everything in Minecraft is based 100% on reality. This right here is is how real life works. <laughs> the uh, ice and then packed ice and then blue ice. This is how real life works. If you take a bunch of ice and compress it nine times, it turns into ice but more slippery. And then if you further compress that nine times, then it turns blue and becomes ultra slippery. Imagine. Don't you know that all modern technology, all modern travel in the world is based off of blue ice technology? Like inside of our car engines is actually just a bunch of blue ice. How else do you think they go so fast? <laughs> okay, that is... I don't have aqua affinity yet, so that's going to be kind of annoying. Come on! Oh, God, it's so hard to fly. It's so hard to fly when you're in water. All right, might as well. Ow! The username Toaster Koichi. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, my name username is Toaster Koichi. I never, I never thought about that. That is true. Um, during these days, my English vocabulary just wakes up and chooses violence. What are you talking about? You mean you mean your English vocabulary isn't doing what you want it to do right now? <laughs> Is that what you mean? Wait, what kind of ice is this? This is packed ice, right? Oh, you know what I forgot to bring? I forgot to bring a bed, so I can't skip nights. Oh, that's unfortunate. Vroom. Vroom. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's still not enough, but I'm going to save the ice collecting for another time. We need to find... We need to find a jungle. Oh my god, that's too much ice. That's why I forgot to put. It. I don't have a. I don't have a bed in the base in the box. All right. Whoops. And I'm already. I'm already uncomfortably low on fireworks. The ice biomes mean that it's very cold, which is the opposite of what we need for a jungle. Jungle is hot and warm. The worst part of living in Indonesia is that Super Chat isn't here. Well, you know what else? You know what else, Xcraft? I don't have Super Chats enabled, unfortunately. It's still going to be quite a while before I have enough watch hours for um, monetization. That means you guys have to watch all my videos two times in a row in order to in order to make me reach monetization faster. Super chats when? It's literally just I don't have enough view hours. It's quite unfortunate. 
I was actually thinking about just ter just setting up a Streamlabs. Or actually, I already have a Streamlabs set up, but like actually letting people use it. But I, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't feel like I deserve to get donations as a streamer in some ways. Like, I definitely am not as good or engaging of a streamer as I want to be. So, like, I'm just like... Do I really deserve to have people super chat me? I don't know. Hello, shipwreck. Let me explore you. Ah, fuck. Ow, that hurt. Um, <laughs> I literally dived straight down at it. That was not a good idea. Oh, thank you. I hear a drown. I hear a, 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 a drown. I prefer donating to a toaster than average VTuber girls. Hey, don't, don't shit talk to my average VTuber girls. Oh my god, buried treasure. I guess we gotta do this, huh? We gotta do this, huh? We gotta go find the buried treasure now. This is like necessary. This is nece Wait, ID number what? Zero. Oh, what? This is the first one I found? Seriously? YouTubers are mostly meh IMO. I mean, it depends. It, de it depends on how much of a simp you are, to be quite honest. Stop attacking me! I'm looking at my map! Oh my god, I'm already using so much of my fireworks. I don't like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is actually the right direction. What the heck? Nope, no, nope, that's the wrong direction. I'll go this way. But VTubers, when it comes to VTubers, it truly depends on how much of a simp you are. And it's like the personality of the streamer youtuber in question yeah that is a big one i'm glad that you guys all like my personality even when like i'm not at my peak like i definitely do not feel like i am at my peak right now i'm like really struggling in recent weeks for sure oh my god i really want to just fight those creepers just to get more gunpowder but now is not the time for that we must dig for the conduit the conduit conduit <laughs> Everyone kings the tokel once you get hit by a violin. What is this, a mori? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I dig like this, it should work. Imagine digging straight down. Ah, oh, nope, I missed it. Was I supposed to be poking my head out like one more towel or something? Interesting. Or maybe two more towels because it didn't even show up. Maybe it was like this? Let's try here. Nope, it's not here either. Um, I don't remember. Or maybe I was supposed to. Maybe it's supposed to be like poking out like this. I think. Uh, uh. Or being hit by a keyboard gear sequence. <laughs> what? What is this? Oh no, that's actually not Amori though. Never mind. Hmm. PC keyboard. Oh, not a piano keyboard. I don't like. Mori's on the brain, man. I thought- Oh, there it is. Hello. Conduit, hello. Or not conduit, but hard to see. Close enough, you know. Alright, let me just mine this up. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty good, I'd say. Got hit by heavy-ass backpack last year. Still wondering how I'm still good. Well, that's because- That's because we are young people whose bodies recover from injury instantly. Right? Right, guys? Sweats profusely. Did I get a free shield from that? What the heck? I got a single piece of paper, too. Okay, thanks, game, I guess. Alright, this guy can also go in here. Goodbye. I'm so glad I have gear. My little brother hits me with an iron pipe. That sounds um, suboptimal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your little brother hits you with an iron pipe? What if someone launches you into a table? A table and a desk. What is the difference between a table and a desk? I don't know. 
What is the difference between table and a desk, I think? Wait. Blinks rapidly while I try to think of the difference between... No, this is the way to the blue eye stuff again. Sounds like something straight out of WWE. Yeah, but what about the time that Undertaker threw mankind off the table and directly into the announcers? <laughs> I don't know the copy pasta well enough to recite the whole thing. Yeah, they did that to me. All oh, right, it was something Valve threw mankind off. Um, hell in a cage. What? Wait, what? What was it called? What is this? Hello? This is rare. A mushroom, a mushroom island, guys. Wait, this is so rare. I have not seen one of these in vanilla Minecraft for so long. Holy shit. I mean, it's not a jungle, so I'm still a bit pissed, but okay. Yeah, I'm writing this down as well. Elytra is not flying, it's falling with style. It's gliding, yeah, it's falling with style. Firework rockets, that's flying. I'm writing down the coordinates right now. What is 304? This is mushroom. Mushroom. All right, so I'm running into a problem here, which is that I'm going to run out of firework rockets very soon. I only have 22 left. I'm going to keep flying around in the ocean for a little bit. And then once I hit like 10 left, I'm going to go back. All right, let's go. Slowly gliding. Mushroom bi mushroom mushroom islands are the are one of the rarest biomes in Minecraft. They're very hard to find. So it's pretty exciting to find one even though it's not what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> And what I'm looking for is a jungle, and this is not a jungle, this is a plains. Please. Uh-huh, okay. Birch forest, that's also not what I want. Turtles! Wait, there's so many turtles here. I might want to note where these turtles are too. They're pretty rare as well, right? Okay, let's see. One, three, three, nine, eight, two. Turtles. Nice. I just lost a lot of hype by dropping down like that. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. They're not T-posing. They're doing the Jacko pose. <laughs> Turtles are doing the Jacko pose. I mean, like, think about it. Look, you see the way their legs are back like this and like their arms are... Or, it, it's, it's kind of like a reverse Jacko pose, right? <laughs> If you don't know what a jacko pose is, I'm not telling you. You're too young to know. <laughs> Gliding within Elytra feels like creative mode in survival. It's Elytra is better than creative flight, TBH. I love Elytra flight. It's so fast. It's so fast. It goes just like thousands of blocks in the blink of an eye. It's way better than creative flight. Creative flight, you're just like holding control in W. Just like, am I there yet? But Elytra's just like... Phew. Yeah, Elytra is very nice. Wait, how the heck did I accidentally go home? I'm pretty sure my home is around here somewhere. Because this is very close to spawn. The coordinates are like almost 0, zero around here. In fact, I think that... Wait. But where is my house? A low? The coordinates are like negative 150 and 80 right now, so this is near spawn. But where did I build my house? <laughs> what are you talking about? The Minecraft turtles existed before the Jacko pose, so obviously Minecraft turtles invented the Jacko pose. I did everything that I said in the stream title. I already killed the Ender Dragon and I already got an Elytra as well. So we're kind of just flying around. I'm lost though. I'm looking for my house. I flew around and 
looking for a jungle and i did not find a jungle but i did find a lot of other exciting biomes like an ice biome and a mushroom forest and um a bunch of turtles What is this? Another village? What the heck? Dacopos has existed for a while. Yeah, it's been... It was... What was the fighting game? Guilty Gear Strive? GG Strive? Yeah, it's been in there for a while. But, you know, I think Minecraft Turtles existed before GG Strive, right? Right? Where the fuck is my house? Hello? It's supposed to be around here somewhere. I only have 12 fireworks left. I hope I have like 25 gunpowder, which I can use to make like another stack of fireworks. So we're probably... But comp has points to spawn, not to, not to my house. So like... I do have a compass on me, but it's not going to help. And I can just find my way to spawn by using, you know... You know, this is the time that building a lodestone would have really helped, except for the part where... I don't even have a single piece. I don't even have a single piece of, uh, <laughs> of netherite, so I can't make a lodestone anyways. I'm exhausted, just finished a long D&D session. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh, are you a player or a DM? Just by numbers alone, you're probably a player, but I think it would be pretty cool if you were a DM too. Let me see if I can search up where my coordinates were. I feel like I wrote this down somewhere. I might have a... Documents telling me where my house is. Where's my house? Stronghold? No, that's not where my house is. Yeah, you know, I don't know where my house. <laughs> While I'm at it, let me let me move some of my notes over to this. I have something written down that the portal room is two four one two negative one seventy four. 25. This is where the end portal is. There's a geode near it. 2, 4, 3, 1, 31, negative 180. Geode. <laughs> the only thing I hate from using Elytra is crashing to the wall or crash line to the ground. <laughs> Okay, so here's my thought about elytras. They are actually very balanced because of of the crashing damage. Like, if they didn't have the crash landing damage, then like there would be so little risk to using them. But because there is a chance of you crash landing into something violently and dying as a result, you do have to build like a little bit of extra infrastructure around the elytra in order to make it safer to use. And that really does make it a lot more balanced of an item. Because otherwise you just kind of like, you just kind of, you just fly around with no risk. You can just dive straight into the ground. You can just run straight into a cliff wall and die. It's always really funny though, <laughs> watching people for the first time using an elytra crash into the ground and die. <laughs> I'm pillaring up to see if I can find my house using high render distance right now. <laughs> I can't believe it's come to this. All right, all right, load, load further. My question is why they started doing the Jackalpose challenge now. It's because someone made a viral post it's like falling down headfirst, yeah. But you know, everyone who's used to Elytra a lot learns to learns to do that thing where they like slide their mouse in circles in order to lessen the impact at the end of the Elytra um, flight path. Is my house really around here? I'm at 300, negative 300. I feel like my house should be around here, but it's not because I don't remember that village. And. I don't think I re I don't remember that village. I'm so lost. I don't know how the heck I lost track of where my house is. This is so shameful. My village, my house is definitely not next to the blue ice. Otherwise, I would have found the blue ice earlier. So does that mean my house is in this direction? What? No way. That's positive X and positive. Why? Yeah, I know, right? Can you 
you, can, can you like, you can almost hear my PC just like struggling right now. It's not actually struggling, but um... Wait, the blue ice was... Blue ice was positive X. What? Am I the only one who never went to the end on survival? No, you are not. Um, like, if you've never been to the end before, it can be very stressful because you don't know what you're getting yourself into, and it's like, you're just like, oh god, oh shit, oh god, what, what is this place? I don't know what to do. But honestly, after having gone to the end and then getting an elytra from it, like, elytra and shulker boxes, they're just so good. Elytra and shulker boxes are just too good. Like, these two items alone make it so worth it to go to the, go to the end. The end is like free gear, kind of, it depends. Why is there pillager outpost over there? What the heck? I don't even remember that. Okay, I think I have to fly in this direction. All right, let me turn the let me turn this back down to like something that won't cause my PC to explode. Let me turn this to 16 actually. And then I say even go in ASAP with a bunch of blocks and iron gear just to find diamond loot. Yeah, yeah, that could that is definitely something you could do too. People who are better and more confident at traversing the end than me definitely do that. They'll like speed run just the bare necessities to kill the Ender Dragon and then go in the end and just be like, I need my elytra right now. I need my shulker boxes right now. Cause you know, with your elytra and shulker boxes, you can just do this. You can just take stuff and then you can hold so much stuff. And then you can do this. And that's just so worth it. The only thing that might be bad about s not, oh wait. No, my house can't be in this direction. It's too positive. Oh, it is here. What? Okay. I guess it's here. You know what? I should write down these coordinates as well. <laughs> 830. No, no lava pillar. I'm just writing down the coordinates. Home. Okay. I need to have Optifine reduce range distance on too. That actually sounds unplayable. Unfortunate. Unfortunate that you don't have a PC good enough for um for high level Minecraft. Or for playing Minecraft at any reasonable distance, to be honest. Can you store a shulker? No, you can't. If you could, that would be infinite storage. The only thing you can't put inside shulker boxes is another shulker box. So like if I have two, you're not allowed to put it in. It's just something that you're not allowed to do. I mean Obviously, they have to do that to make it balanced, you know, and it is balanced. All right, so gunpowder. 24. No, you can't. You can't put a shulker box inside another one. Oh my god, this is only 48 more? That's not good. I would crash the game in an instant. Yeah, you can. You, if you could stack shulker boxes inside each other, then you could probably MBT. You could put so much MBT inside a single item that it would just break the um, break the chunk that it was in. <laughs> or even worse, break your player data. If it was inside your end inside your ender chest, then you're because MBT is limited for some reason. You could just end up breaking it. I did not find a jungle at all. That's unfortunate. Ah, God, I should have made a map. I should have made like a very zoomed out map. You know what? Let me make a... What? Isn't a map... Oh no, it's around a compass, right? Uh -huh. Let me make a max zoom map. Let me make a max zoom map. And... Max zoom low. 
Yes, this is my house. Let me make a max zoom map so I at least have kind of an idea of what's going on here. Okay. I see. The map decided to center itself. Shulker and an ender chest in a shulker. Yes, you can put an ender chest in a shulker, but the problem is that all ender chests share the same... Um, all ender chests share the same inventory, so it doesn't matter because the one inside the shulker will have the same inventory as the one outside the shulker so it doesn't make a difference that way all right that's a max render distance map i guess we'll start off by exploring southwards again and see what we find there meanwhile let's put away all this stuff i'm actually going to run out of fireworks though this is troubling let me grab the looting three sword instead. <laughs> that should be a bit better. Let me go find some creepers to kill. I'm pretty lucky to find shrimp bomb. Yeah, I know, right? Like, like as as I said, that was the first shrimp biome I found in any vanilla world, like for years. I can't even remember if I've ever found one without outside help. In Minecraft ever. Where's my shield? Oh right, and I accidentally left my ender chest at home. Well that's unfortunate. Creepers? Creepers? You're not a creeper. But you're more annoying than one. Okay, I guess I can two-shot you, thanks. Alright. Creepers Doko. Imagine actually wanting to fight a creeper. Hello? Why did you not die? Alright. Alright, creepers. It's your turn. Hello? I thought I jumped away from it. Oh, I guess I knocked it in the same direction that it's running, maybe? Oh, shit. God damn it. I messed up. Please, die already. You know what, let me turn this... <laughs> that 16 is actually kind of impacting my... my frame rate a little bit. Hot take, savannah bombs are beautiful. I actually used to like building in savannah bombs, like unironically. They do have their own charm for sure. And most people, I would say, probably choose to go for a plains biome. Or like, or one next to a forest, and that's because that's a good starting spot. But savannas are pretty, pretty, pretty as well. Like they have like the the thing about plains bounds is that their grass is actually almost too green. I feel no. Like this is like almost like unrealistically green. I I don't I don't know what that means, but it's like almost too green, and that might be one thing you have going against. One thing that um, planes might have going against it. Meanwhile, savannas, you get like a more muted, like reddish, a more hotter color, obviously. And you might like that a bit more. The only problem... <laughs> preserving the desert. Whenever I, whenever I have like a creeper hole, I have like the urge to fill it up. I hate having creeper holes everywhere, so I'm, I am going to fix it. I'm like that, yeah, I'm that one guy on the server who always fixes every creeper hole. If I see creeper holes left by other people, I will fix them as well. Creeper holes, they're just, they just look so bad. I hate, I hate things that don't have aesthetic. This is probably like a peek into the inner workings of my mind, but like, <laughs> this is a little OCD of me, I feel. I do the same thing. Okay, I'm not the only one. Most people, most people I know would not fill in creeper holes. Like, I feel like it's more rare to be a person who fixes the holes than to be someone who, like, um, lets them be. I feel like maybe, like, 80% of people would not fix the hole. Or they're just, like, too lazy to. But I know that if I say I'll do it later, then I'll never do it, so that's why I have to do it on the spot. Oh my god.
I would make pawns with the holes. I do the same thing while I let my house heavily damage. No, I would fix my house as well. Uh, I can't wait until Tools makes an SP and turn a Moga statue made of diamond and redstone on day one. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. You guys really gonna do that? You guys really gonna make a, a Moga statues with your hard earned diamonds on day. Oh my god, seriously? How did that happen? I'm so pissed right now. Oh my god, I have to fix this hole now. T shirt with cheese is tankier than diamond arm t shirt with cheese. What is this from? <laughs> Wait, what is t shirt with cheese? I actually don't know. Okay, I'm starting to waste a lot of time fixing these holes. Oh my god. Oh my god, why? Why? Someone just pinged me on Discord. I'll look at that later. Can't possibly be that important. Uh, sweats nervously. Every time I rejoin a server, there's a creeper waiting behind your house. Oh, yeah, that's why you light up the area around your house. No. Minecraft mechanics, they demand respect. And people do not realize... Oh, this is why I turn mob briefing off. That's a good point. That is a good point. Some people just turn off mob briefing so they don't have to deal with this crap. But actually, the problem with turning mob briefing off is... um. Whoa! Whoa! The archer killed it and I got a disc! The heck? That's awesome! I was not expecting that to happen. I just got a free music disc. Bro, get out of the way! You wanna fucking die? I'm fighting here! My sword might accidentally poke you! Guys, stop. You're not creepers. I need gunpowder. I only have five gunpowder after all that? What a waste of time. There's so many mobs around here. Yeah, but what was I talking about? I was talking about respect. Like, like you think, like, when you when I first say something like Minecraft is a game that demands respect, you're like, yes, I will be very careful when fighting creepers. But that's not the extent of it. Minecraft creepers, creepers demand more respect than that. In order to truly respect creepers, you need to not have them spawn at all. True respect of Minecraft mechanics means lighting up a huge area around your house and like every single time a mob randomly spawns somewhere, you have to like check it crevices and corners around that area just in case you know true respect means going the extra mile to make sure that this shit that just happened here can never happen like it's not just about being careful it's about taking precautions and that's how you respect minecraft mechanics i remember on someone's stream on someone's Minecraft stream, they were like getting fucked over by gas over and over every single time they went through their nether portal. And and there are like other things in the nether that are fucking them over. And I was just like, in chat, I was just like, this is why you have to respect the nether. And they're like, but I am respecting the nether. I'm like being very careful when I go inside and like I'm trying to like dodge the gas and stuff. I'm just like, that is not respect. Respect is building an entire box around your your nether portal the moment you get into the nether so that you can't even be targeted by a gas so your nether portal can't be blown up by a gas fireball that's what respect in minecraft means that's what respecting the mechanics of minecraft means because minecraft is unforgiving it is so mean to the player and you must respect it i have my house from the outside of torches is sleeping sideways cursed? You mean in real life? Not particularly. <laughs> I just double pressed jump and used the firework when I wasn't equipped with my elytra. <laughs> oh, hello, ruined portal. 
Respect means making a nice landing. Wow, look at how useless this is. Mending on a gold boots? Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot my... Oh, my shoulder. Sleeping sideways, he means... He means, like, if... If Steve's model or Alex's model was sideways in Minecraft when he slept, I feel like that would look pretty cursed because the character model is wider than they are um, deep, if you know what I mean. But that does seem like a pretty cursed idea. No, I didn't. 11 gunpowder is enough for 33 fireworks, so I definitely have a... I definitely went positive on that. <laughs> Imagine though if I actually went negative, that would have been really funny and sad. Oh my god. Mending diamond boots. Yeah, it's not like I have infinite access to mending books already, game. I don't even need this one. Ugh, goodbye. If you face a silly and fall asleep like that, you're a menace to society. <laughs> oh no, not this again. I feel like we talked about this on a different Minecraft stream once. <laughs> This goes here. Uh, gunpowder. Paper. Yeah, so you have 46 now, so that's more than I started with. Where did this glowstone come from? Oh, right, I killed a witch. That's where it came from. You know what? I need to make a banner. Do I have any lime dye? That's not enough. I need more lime dye. What does it take to make a banner again? Six? Okay, hold on. Let me cook some more cactus up. And let me make more smooth stone while I'm at it. <laughs> And a stick, yes, and a stick. Alright, where's my cactus green? Hurry up, hurry up! You guys know why I use lime dye, right? Because lime is my favorite color. It's my favorite color. And the reason for that is definitely not because Momoka Serizawa, my... My anime waifu's hair color is is this color, and that's definitely not why my banner has to be lime. I just want to temporarily... This is just going to be a temporary banner. I will design a real one later. I just need this to mark it on the map so I don't get lost. Yeah. Who would have thought? Hopefully it looks like scrap paper. Okay, now that you say it, it kind of does. That's cursed. I will not think about that any further. You know what else we forgot last time? A bed. And that goes in base in the box, yes. And I also forgot to take this whole... Wait, Retro? I forgot to take this whole box with me last time as well. Coaster equals simp? Yeah, you're right, I am a simp. I'm not even going to deny it. <laughs> Simping is built into my blood, unfortunately. Sometimes I kind of don't like the fact that I'm a simp, but... Actually, nah, I'm fine with it. You can make pins on maps, yes. If you right-click a banner with a map, then it puts... then it marks it on the map for you. It's very useful. Hello? Have I explored you before? Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to say about, um... About savanna biomes, like, yeah, they're nice, but they're... Sir? Sir? Like, savannas are nice, but there is one major problem with them, which is that they are, um... Which is that they are often next to deserts, and deserts kind of suck. Deserts kind of suck. I don't like deserts that much. That's the one problem with savanna biomes. Like, I'm fine with savannas themselves, but the fact that you, you're basically resigning yourself to be surrounded by desert is kind of 
Yeah, I don't like it. But there's nothing good in these. I guess I got two gapples. Two gapples is reasonable, I guess. I always did pins using clone maps and posting on frames. I see. Isn't your Nick still mobile cuz simp? You mean in the... Yes, it probably is. I never bothered to change it. <laughs> in the T7S Discord though, so it makes sense for me to just always have that as my Nick there, right? Hold on, let me do this outside. Let me get upstairs first and then do that. <laughs> yeah, and deserts are just like... Hello, yellow. Not very pretty. Okay. Well, that was a terrible desert temple. <laughs> Let me actually put away my stuff now. One blue ter terracotta. Beautiful. Oh my god. Let me <laughs> put all this stuff away. Oh, I got four gunpowder. That's actually worthwhile. XD. Well, now. Okay. And let me get that map back. And off we go. <laughs> Learning that double tap technique is actually pretty... It's like, the, when you first get in the light, it's always funny to watch people use light just for the first time. It's like, how do I lift off from the ground? Just double tap space and while looking up and right click with your firework. And then they can't do it. XD. <laughs> Wait, I have an XD face. <laughs> XD XD Lamau Oh my god, I'm about to travel the full length of this goddamn map and still not find I mean there's like a tropical ocean over here. It looks kinda nice. Wow, this is a really big tropical ocean biome. Hold on, I actually want to mark this down. It's in the, it's actually in the middle of nowhere, what the heck? <laughs> Let me mark down the coordinates for this tropical as well. 540-1959, tropical ocean. What time is it on your time zone? It's uh, 11 right now. All right, let me fly along the edge of this map and see what we get. It'd be more interesting to find deserts filled with oases. Oh, you mean like if they put in oasis uh, biomes or like as a feature in deserts? Yeah, that'd be nice. Minecraft, the desert update when? <laughs> To be fair, Mojang is probably like, deserts are already too OP because they have, they have desert temples and every speedrunner wants deserts because of the desert temple. Ah yes, here's the mushroom island. Unfortunate, we actually went the wrong way, I've already been here before. I guess it will be nice to have the mushroom biome on my map though. I GTG now, bye. Goodbye, IV the enjoyer. Thank you for dropping by. Ah oh, yes, mushroom bones are purple on maps too. As you know, that's obviously purple. Not brown, it's purple. Are you colorblind? Vroom. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Mojang forgets that almost all the community don't speed run. Nah, nah, I was, I was just joking about that. I was just joking about that. I mean, Mojang works at a very slow pace for whatever reason, so... I don't know. Maybe one day they will do a desert overhaul, but you know, they did a, a nether... Uh, the nether update was some really good stuff. And, um... The upcoming caves update looks like some really good stuff as well. So maybe one day they will do a desert update. Maybe one day they'll do a desert update and that will be awesome as well. Like every time they do like an update dedicated to a particular biome or something, it actually does turn out pretty well. 
like the aquatic update was pretty good too and like swimming we can actually swim now playing minecraft pre-aquatic update is just so painful like oh my god i don't want to think about it I'm playing minecraft pre-aquatic update no swimming you just have to like t-pose in the water like a dumbass Well, I guess I'm going home now. I actually want to make a map for another map that's to the north of this. Huh? I missed the water, but I didn't take any fall damage. Well, okay game. Thanks, I guess. This map has turned out to be spectacularly useless. Let me make another map. And I'll activate this map to the north of here. Activate this map to the north of here. Activate the map here so that it makes a new map for this northern region. Uh-huh. And then we go back. Imagine if the elytra has Curse of Binding. Only a troll would put Curse of Binding on an elytra. Imagine if someone did that to you. They put Curse of Binding on your elytra. It never breaks, right? It never breaks, and you can just never get- No, 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 If it runs out of durability, is it just- I know when it runs out of durability, it doesn't actually break, but does it come off of your equipment slot if it runs out of durability? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Anyways, let me max out this map. Oh wait, that's not right. Okay, so this is now the map for the region that's directly north of here. Scaling at 4-4, four, four, yes. It stays equipped? Well, well then, if you're... F you better contact an admin, I guess. Speaking of Elytra, I do need to fix it at some point. It's fine though. It's like the Elytra is connected to your backbone. That sounds painful. <laughs> but yeah, it, it does sound like... It's like um, putting cursive... Binding on a pumpkin and then have and then like tricking someone into wearing that, you know, it's the same idea as that. Except the pumpkin is arguably even more useless. At least if your curse of binding elytra had mending on it, you could still fix it by gaining experience. But if it's a pumpkin, uh, well, I guess you never have to worry about looking at Enderman again. Question mark. <laughs> I do want to map out the coast of the land that I'm on at some point as well because in order to find a good place to build TTT which is going to be that's the name of my upcoming mob grinder TTT in order to find a good place to build TTT I'm going to need basically the closest ocean to my house because it needs to be built over water so that we don't have to light up all the land around it to prevent mob spawns and it would be a lot handier if it was close to my house. I'm just not going to look at that lava. Okay, that's not a jungle. Jungles are also really hard to find. They're like, they can be spaced like thousands of... <laughs> look at these endermen go. <laughs> Those endermen. Well, sucks to be them, I guess. It's like acid rain. Imagine invading a foreign land and then it just starts raining and you just fucking die. <laughs> Bro, where's the jungle at? I don't even care about the map anymore. Dark oak. It's not jungle though, unfortunate. I saw like deep leaves for like half a second and I was like, is that a jungle? Oh no, it's not. It's just dark oak. Uh... Let me write this down as well. Seven, eight... Four, negative 2702 dark oak I guess I'll go in this direction next midnight flying no I was thinking about yesterday I went out um, in the afternoon 
or not yeah an afternoon for something and i ended up staying out for like almost the whole night so by the time that i was going home it was already really late and i think i was driving back at like 1 a.m or something and there's like no one no one on the highway at that time and i was like thinking during that time um, is this a swamp no that's kind of interesting <gasps> slimes wait hold on i need to kill these slimes i was thinking while driving out at in the middle of the night at 1 a.m how when you're like out there driving on the highway it's kind of almost like you're it's not a slime chunk primity it's um it's a slime um swamps just spawn slimes now it's just swamps i don't know when they added that but it's just because it's a swamp if it was a slime chunk then even if it was just a slime chunk they'd have to be below like x or sorry y 40 to spawn slimes but those slimes are purely because this is a swamp and i'm just grabbing the slime because it's useful for like sticky pistons Oh my god. But on the on the topic of driving in the middle of the night, it's kind of like when you're driving really fast, you're almost in in an isolated world of your own. Because Okay. Because you can't people can't reach you in a fast moving vehicle unless they try really, really hard. But even though there are other cars around you that are going really fast, even if those people are like physically close to you, they're not like conceptually close to you. It takes effort to reach you when you're inside a speeding car, you know? And that was the weird thought that I was having while driving around at 1am on the highway. It's a lonely experience. A lonely experience. And sometimes, sometimes I just crave that feeling of being like alone and like cut off from the world in that sense. Like you're driving, you can't really look at your phone so people can't even bother you that way. And then there's the whole like no one can reach you because you're moving too fast. <laughs> Had to drive home at night a few nights ago and you are so right. Hi BTW, hello Eridum, I haven't seen you around in a while. But yeah, it's such a mood, driving home at night. That's why like there is like an entire genre of Eurobeat music about driving around at night. It like literally encapsulates that feeling. <laughs> Do you play Genshin Impacted to- Oh my god, holy shit! Reaper exploded behind me. I don't think I can fix this hole, so it will just have to be. No, I did not play Genshin Impact. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that meme in picture that goes every day, day. I thank God for not making me a Genshin Impact lover. Well, that's me. <laughs> every day, I thank God for not making me a Genshin Impact lover. Search up that meme every day. <laughs> because that is literally just me. <laughs> I'm not getting into Genshin. Uh-oh. I hear phantoms. Guys, please, please. I have wings too, you know. You're not the only ones who can fly at me. I will fly away. This is a really big swamp. Did I write down the... Did I write down the coordinates for this? Let me write down these coordinates as well. Negative 308. Negative 2180. Uh, swamp. Okay, give me one moment. I need to do what they call an idle meeting, which actually means that I'm using the restroom. I will be right back, restroom time.
Guys, why do I need to find an Elytra when I already have wings on my back? <sighs> okay. Wait, what? I can't believe a toaster is my idol. Yeah, I am your idol. You should worship me. And call me beautiful. <laughs> Toaster, if you're an idol, do we get a karaoke stream? Uh, people ask me this a lot, I, unironically. I don't think... There are not enough songs that I know well enough to sing. Um, that's like basically the only reason that I'm not doing a karaoke stream is because I don't have a large enough repertoire. Like, like I'm not shitting you. I don't think my singing is like necessarily that bad. The T7S character. The problem for me is I've I've spent too much time outside the T7S hole and I've like Like this is unfortunate, but I have actually forgotten a lot of T7S songs. The only T7S song that I still remember some lyrics of off the top of my head is Sakura. And that's because that was my favorite T7S song, you know. My <laughs> What the did I What the What what did I just Huh? Hey, these phantoms are holy shit. Those phantoms are on a, they're on a journey. They're out to get me. Oh my god, yeah. But I still know like part of the chorus of T7S. My I got a coin on you, man. Amaku yo ai da ke kashira. Kono mama omoi tsukete. Nakita tsunate. Nakita kunate. And then I don't remember the rest. I actually probably got some of the lyrics there wrong, too. It's okay, I have the entire discography on Spotify. You see. I thought being a mad lad at singing would be the minimum required for becoming a VTuber. I'm sorry, Davi, but you are correct. It's an unfortunate fact of life, but karaoke is one of the three genres of VTuber content that exists in this world. <laughs> uh, why is there more ice? I don't need more ice. I already found like a, another ice biome way back there. One of... My f we were, I was talking about why VTubers all seem to be very good at singing. And our conclusion- oh look, a spruce forest. Our conclusion is that the reason for that is because most VTubers, at least like Japanese VTubers, where, you know, VTubing started, they they live in Japan, where karaoke culture is a thing. And because karaoke culture is a thing, that means everyone just has like a baseline level of experience or like knowledge of singing. Like it's normal for people to just go out and sing for absolutely no reason, right? Because that's karaoke culture in Japan and maybe some other Asian countries as well. But America doesn't have that. So because of that, the average American person is not as good at singing as the average Japanese person. That's also why it's seemingly every single Japanese VTuber knows how to sing. <laughs> because every Japanese person knows how to sing. <laughs> Where even are you? I'm like a thousand miles off the edge of it. I can't be bothered to stay on it because there's clearly not a jungle inside the map. But the map gives me a... it tells me where I am relative to it at least, so... Like you can see right now I'm heading north relative to the map. This is suboptimal. This is not where I would find a jungle. Jungles are not next to dark are not next to these things. <sighs> but I only have 46 fireworks left. Maybe I should take a northern loop because I feel like there was more hot bombs in that direction. I might have better luck if I go that way. Can the toaster turn into auto-tune though? Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. I am a toaster. Toasters are robots, therefore are incapable of talking with any pitch or intonation in their voice. For some reason, popular media has made it seem like robots do not know how to have intonation in their voice because that is definitely how robots sound. 
robot karaoke stream never gonna let you down never gonna give you up never gonna turn around and forget you I always find them side to side with dark oak wait really do toasters have feelings <laughs> this toaster has feelings it's a bit too late for the, to go back oh 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 my god what i just got here oh thank god the rain put that out we did it jungle let's go let me write this down let me write this down Negative 2370, negative 2752. That is so far. I almost wonder if I have enough fireworks to make it back home. Eh, dude, it's fine. It'll be fine. All right, let me find some bamboo now. Yeah, I know, right? That lightning, I literally got here and then, and then the game was just like, boom. No, I will burn down this. I will burn down this jungle so that you don't get to have it. Like literally just as I got here. God, man. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I need to grab here. Let me grab some... Oh no, not those guys again. You know what? Shit. Oh my God. This rain is out to get me. It's making it so dark that mobs are spawning even though it's not nighttime. Um, where's my base in the box? Okay, let me let me sleep through. Let me sleep through this. I ow, guys. Bob, go away. Aren't vocal voice just robots fingers? Yes, you're correct, they are. Oh whoops. Alright, bed. Back in the box you go. There's seriously still one after me. Okay, let me put away as much important stuff as I can before I lose all of this crap. Um, lime. Yes. Okay, there. Now I am feeling a lot better. Okay, let me chop down one of these trees so I can get some... Hello, parrot. Unfortunately, it is not time for you. Let me chop down Fuck. I need to break the leaves by hand, huh? I need, um... I want jungle leaf, uh, jungle saplings. Jungle saplings. Doko. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. This one's fortune. I can use the fortune pickaxe to get more jungle saplings. Usually what I put in my offhand is, um... Is actually a shield. That's usually what I put in my offhand, but I was holding a map that time because map reasons. Oh my god. Let me get my shears. Uh, get my shears so I can get some vines too. And I can grow these vines back at home as well. Okay. Got three jungle saplings. That's not enough. I want more. I want more. Uh, uh. Right, Genshin Impact. But so the reason I don't play Genshin is not because I necessarily have anything against Genshin Impact itself. It's because I swore off um, mobile games. If I've, I swore off free to play mobile games a long time ago, or, or sorry, not not free to play mobile games. I swore off gotcha games a long time ago. Uh, I think it was maybe like two years ago when I just like cold turkey quit every single gotcha game that i played including t7s this is a no gotcha zone guys no gotcha and the reason for this is because all gotcha games the design the way that gotcha games have to be designed is to is to encourage people to roll on the gotcha and as a result of this even if you 
even if you roll on the gacha, it's these games are all time consuming as hell because they want you to do one of two things. They want you to either invest your time, a lot of your time or your money. And as a result, there is always a part of gacha games that is grindy as fuck in terms of time commitment. And at a certain point in my life, I was spending like one to two hours a day just playing gacha games. And I was like, is this really worth it? Is what I'm getting out of this really worth it? The answer was no. Because I was only doing it because I felt the need to grind every day for like the things that require grinding. Like I was just doing events in every game, but like I wasn't having fun with the events themselves. Like there might be fun moments in those games from time to time, but doing events is not fun. It just becomes a chore. It's an unnecessary chore. And so that's how I think about Genshin as well. Like, is it a bad game? No, I haven't played it. So I can't really say if it's a good or bad game. Is it a gacha game? Yes. And is it time consuming as hell from what I know of people who play it a lot? Yes. Especially if you're just starting out in the game, you have to grind so much to increase like your AR and shit. And the only way, even with grinding, the only way to have meta teams in Genshin is to pay. Like you will never have a meta team if you don't pay up. You have to roll the gacha to have a strong team. That's just how it is. And that's how it is in a lot of other mobile rhythm games as well. As much as you want to deny as much as you might want to deny that fact, it still stands. The only way to be meta is by spending. And not every single game requires you to be meta to like have fun or do well, but there definitely are some games that you have to be meta. To play gacha and be F2P, you really need to have a transcended mind. You need to um, have time. You need to have a lot of time, free time. Let me look for some bamboo now. Oh, and there is some bamboo. Alright, let's just go grab it. <laughs> One stick of bamboo just sitting there for no reason. And let me grab all this cocoa as well. I am cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I am cuckoo for cocoa puffs! I am cuckoo for cocoa puffs! <laughs> Why was that parrot high on Cocoa Puffs? Does anyone know? Why is that cuckoo parrot high on Cocoa Puffs? No one will ever know the truth. Yeah, things I enjoy about Arcade Partners is not a gotcha, it's really fair. Okay, to be fair, um, Arcade Partners are also very grindy if you want to max out their level. <laughs> but I, we try not to make the map world maps too grindy, but I feel like it could be kind of hard for new players, honestly. Because like, if you're like a new free-to-play player, you probably don't have like Grievous tie or like Tempest tie, and you don't have a high step partner. That can be pretty tough, I feel. Scroll, scroll, scroll. <laughs> yeah, this is a no Genji. This is a no Gacha zone. <laughs> Still logs into Gacha new Momoka. Okay, Primity, this is different. That is not about. That is not about mobile games needing Gacha to be meta. That is about simping. Okay, I simp for Momoka. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> I literally download the new updates in T7S for the sole purpose of Momoka. To pull for Momoka cards. Because if there's any way I know how to show my love for something, it's by throwing a bunch of money at that thing. I'm grinding the levels of every partner instead of using high step partner. Alexis, that's actually what I do nowadays too. Cause like, yeah, it does take more time to do the events, but like, gotta level up the partners. Gotta level up the partners. Somehow spending money on skins is more addicting than gotcha stuff, but, but what about opening, opening loot boxes for skins? <laughs> 
Also, thanks for probably about 160 ether drops with the next update. Yes, this is true. Oh, okay. Alexis, if you don't know, um, basically for every 100 memories that you've spent on a song or song pack, you get one ether drop. And this also goes... This is going to be a new feature, so... So from now on, every single time you buy something, you will get one ether drop for every 100 memories that thing costs. And it also counts retroactively backwards, so anything that you've already bought will give you uh, one ether drop per 100 memories of the base cost of the item. If you bought it on sale, it doesn't matter, it'll count as a base cost. So even if you bought something that was like 500 memories on sale for 250, you would still get five ether drops. So basically, if you own everything right now, you're going to get like 160 ether drops. Yeah. Ask my little bird what's his favorite song in our kid. The only thing he likes is talk in ESM. He's... Okay, on one hand, he's based. On the other hand, please um, teach him some taste. <laughs> okay, I want to go home now. I've grabbed everything I needed from the jungle. No, it's not everything spent. It's on the purchases on song packs and stuff. Otherwise, you could literally just spend money straight to get ether drops, right? And I feel like that's kind of an unhealthy thing to encourage so that's probably the reason that we did not allow that wait i'm going the wrong way yeah i have to go this way at the same time i want to use all 160 ether drops on other... i want so much to keep it for no reason at all i'm probably just going to keep my ether drops i rarely ever spend my ether drops either <laughs> There's like no reason to spend them really. Well, I guess if you don't have max out Tempest Tide, then you should probably spend them to max out Tempest Tide's step, but... <laughs> Aside from that, like once you have Tempest Tide's step maxed out then and all the other important characters maxed out, then it's just like... I guess I just keep them for if I ever feel like maxing out a partner that has affinity on this brand new Beyond map or some shit like that. I just want as many partners on max as possible, so yeah. Doesn't Frums have all of his partners at max? I kind of always remember that for some reason. This mad lad. I'm keeping 40 ether drops for the next Ikari variant. Oh, I see. I don't really know when that's going to be. Or maybe I do know, but even if I did know, I couldn't tell you. And my Tempest Tide is already exhaling atomic energy. Yeah. <laughs> She's just got the Wait, is that a witch hut? Holy oh hold on. I need to write this down. These are important. You can make witch um, farms around these huts. Negative one three eight nine. Negative one four eight three which uh, hut ah stella the eternal meme all i can say is unfortunate <laughs> if you have stella then you're entitled to a veterans discount i swear to god <laughs> okay Slowly making my way back home. Hello, turtles. Goodbye, turtles. You're right, it actually was next to a dark oak bomb. What the heck? What the hecky? Yeah, Stellites is dead now, isn't it? Bah. Yeah, on the topic of simping. <laughs> The reason he likes Taki is pretty much everything. Well, the reason he likes ESM is because of Karu, Karu Meru's cat in the BGM. Yeah, it's... <laughs> the Okay, if you like the songs because of their videos, that's a whole nother... That's a whole nother, another thing. Um, what was it? Apollo? Apollo from the, the new Ongeki level 15. By the way, it's kind of crazy that they have a level 15. Apollo, the new level 15 in Ongeki, it's a TJ Hangnail song, which, you know, it's Sasakura, but he's going a sicko mode, right? When I first heard the song while looking at the chart, I was just like, uh... 
level 15. But then, but then I saw the upload on Sasakura's channel, YouTube channel, and with the background video. And man, that video is so good. It makes this, it like actually complements the song so well. Like it literally, it has a plot basically. Like it's not just like spaceship flying around and like shoots a bigger spaceship until it dies. No, it's like actually epic. I love that video. That video makes the song so much better for me. It like, I might actually say Apollo is my favorite TJ Hangnail song right now, even more than Kamui and Ozma, and maybe even more than um Azu, but that one's Azbu, but that one's a collapse. I don't think it counts, but Apollo's TJ, very pog, very awesome. I love it. The chart! I don't know. I can't play Ongeki right now, so I don't have any opinions on it. I need to be able to play the game to tell you anything about it. <laughs> I was a bit disappointed by the ESM chart, blah blah blah. Yeah, I've heard that a million times. I'm sorry, I can't offer any comments on that. Yeah, Apollo from Ongeki. Apollo by DGT. TJ Hangnail. It's like a billion BPM, but it somehow is a good song. <laughs> it's like a billion BPM, but it's somehow a good song, says Toaster. <laughs> Remember, high BPM makes songs bad. <laughs> Not true, but it's funny to say that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we need to we need more low BPM songs like Drop Dead. How about no? Oh my god, an invisible spider. I hate that shit, man. Did you know that spiders can be invisible in um in in vanilla on on hard difficulty? <laughs> spiders can spawn with a random buff on them, including invisibility. What do you mean, how about no? I'm done. No more meme songs, please. I don't want to make meme charts anymore. I just want to make dance charts. That's not true. I don't know. Um, my real opinion on it is. Toaster could not be reached for comment at this time. Konpawa pasta kuita. Konpan. What? Oh no. Holy shit. I hit the grass and I realized I hit the grass and I was like, should I run away or try to hit? The creeper again. I mean, good thing the creeper died there. Otherwise, I might have been boned. Is there hero horror fight emoji here? Shut up. <laughs> Stop bringing back my Mori trauma. Basil Doko. Should I leave the stream? Oh, no, you are here forever. You must pay respects to me, the god of toaster with your presence. <laughs> The invisible spiders scared the shit out of me the first time, yeah. I like, I didn't know that they could be invisible the first- No, no, it didn't scare me, it scared one of my friends. I was playing vanilla Minecraft for the first time in forever, and one of my friends like, Holy shit, an invisible monster attacked me, ah! And I'm just like, what? There's no invisible monsters in Minecraft, what are you talking about? And eventually I found out that he had been attacked by an invisible spider. And I was like, why was the spider invisible? Did a witch throw like an invisibility potion on it or something? And then I looked it up on the wiki, and spider is on hard mode, spawn with random potion effects sometimes. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, they just spawn with random potion effects. <laughs> and I was only three hearts of that one hunger, ripping pieces. Imagine not eating and healing up at every possible moment. Cough, cough. Couldn't be me. Cough, cough. These guys, though, these little baby dudes. Yeah, these guys are the real um, hardest mob in Minecraft. TBH. Okay, if you actually need to sleep though, please go to bed. I'm I don't deserve your love. <laughs> Why am I fighting these guys? Right, because I need to fight creepers for more gunpowder. I only have five right now. Don't need that shit. Baby zombies, the hardest mob in the whole game. And actually, you know what? Tie with shulkers. 
bats and silverfish <laughs> silverfish silverfish are also annoying ocean effect that makes your in-game model t post to be honest you could probably make a data pack for that i wouldn't be surprised if, if that was something you could program into a data pack you should you should ask someone who knows more about Minecraft than me to make a data pack where you T-pose. Where there's a potion effect that makes you T-pose. That's not what I meant to do at all. Alright, let me do this. Ah yes, the offhand looting. <laughs> the relay of playing Java through bedrock. Ah yes, true pain right there. I forgot that I have infinite arrows, so I don't have to care about wasting these things. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Hello? Did you actually hit me? Oh, wait, I should have... Oh, my God. Someone remind me to repair my lights for later. Or not repair it, but mending it. Alright, that's pretty hard. I didn't know... Wait, does the offhand looting thing actually work for real? I don't know if like that's real or not. I'm just trusting the person who told me it, but I'm not... I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I do remember at some point hearing that it was a thing, but I'm not sure if it still works. What about Bandry? I'd like to know your opinion on it. Besides the gotcha part of it. Andori as a mobile game, it's a... Uh, as a rhythm game, sorry. It's surprisingly popular a lot among the hardcore rhythm gamer crowd in Japan. I don't really know why, but apparently it is. So I just have to go off of my instinct and say that it's a good game. I think um, Bandori and Project Sekai are the two... What the... Yo, that guy's camping! Um, Project Sekai and Bandori are the two mobile rhythm games that are like a primarily gacha game that are surprisingly popular among hardcore rhythm gamers in Japan. So I'd say those two games probably are pretty good, but otherwise, otherwise I don't have much to say about it because I haven't played much Bandori. I think the only thing that people complain about in Bandary is the flicks, but to be honest, their flick inputs are pretty decent for a flick input. I've gone on a rant about flick inputs in the past, <laughs> but the flicks in Bandary are fine. p Sekai is a very basic game. Like, it's basic as heck. If you play any vertical, if you play any highway style mobile rhythm game, like Arkea, <laughs> you'll instantly just be a pro at p Sekai. Like, there's nothing to learn at all in it. You'll just, if you play Arcade and you're good at Arcade, you'll just be good at P Sekai. It, that's just how it is. Cause P Sekai is so basic in terms of mechanics. All right, sorting these things away. Go to the shame hole. You are unneeded items. You are also an unneeded item actually, Egg. Egg, you're an unneeded item. Why am I? Why is this inventory full? That's annoying. Let me grab all of these and put them somewhere else. I'm so glad our kid does not have flicks. I don't have any comment on that. <laughs> I have no comment about flicks in our kit. Most of the English server players of Bandra are very, really obsessed with the characters. To be honest, that's also the same thing with Japanese players. I just mean like... I'm not saying that, that among band raid players, there are a lot of hardcore rhythm gamers. I'm saying the other way around, right? Hardcore rhythm gamers, there's a lot of band raid players for some reason. Like, I, uh, Ellie Conifer is like a huge band raid and pro psycho player. Takuan, who's like one of the top Arcade players, literally like won a like Project Sekai tourney. He won like t a million yen or some shit, like literally a few days ago. Takuan! You all know who Takuan is, right? I don't think- wait, is Takuan number one? I- I don't know. He's one of the top rankers in Arkea. Very high rank. Hi Toasty, hello Japanese name for- wait, 
Japanese name person. <laughs> I tried to read it for half a minute and I was like, never mind. I'm sorry, I can't read your name. Shame corner, go away items that I don't need. To the shame corner, you go. Alright, what am I doing? My player kit, Iffy Arcog, Eagle Seeker, and Einherjar Jar gives me goosebumps. What do you mean by goosebumps? There are many ways that you could mean they give you goosebumps, and I'm not sh sure whether you mean that in like a good. You mean like the songs are just, or or like the charts or something? Because it could you could either mean the songs or the charts, you know? Wait, sand goes here. One day I will have a sorting system. Today is not that day. Why is all my TNT not in here? Is it here? Oh wait, sorry. The most important thing is to plant all this bamboo. Where's the goddamn bamboo? Where'd I put the bamboo? The songs are good. Eagle Seeker. There's always so many people who are like, Eagle Seeker is an amazing song. You know, probably by this point, you guys could figure out that I personally don't like Eagle Seeker as that much, but... Uh, please don't tell anyone I said that. Please don't tell anyone I said that. Hey, I'm, I don't think Eagle Seeker that much. I think it, I, 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 I think Eagle Seeker is o over is um overrated. But I didn't just say that. I didn't say that. I love every song in Arcade equally. They are all my children, and I would not have it any other way. Holy shit, bone meal. Takuan, yeah. Wait, maybe you have to write his name in Japanese? Yeah, it's Taka time. Ah, don't you guys love that sound? <laughs> it's amazing. I love bamboo sound. Tosi, have you played Lenoda? Uh, yes, yes, I have played Lenoda a long time ago. Actually, this is very interesting information. So, like, before Arcade was a thing, back in college, before I was working on the Arcade project, or like even the arcade project was even a thing. Um, I did play a lot of, not a lot of, but I played a bit of Dynamix and Lenoda. I played a lot of those two games. That has nothing to do with the fact that we collab with them, by the way. It's just a coincidence. But I did play those two games a decent amount. I never got very good at them because I wasn't good at mobile rhythm games yet back then. But I have played it enough to somewhat understand it, I suppose. Okay, one and a half stacks, I guess. I've never heard of Phygros. Which one is Phygros? Is that the one with the squares or the... Is it the one with the lines that like rotate around and do funky stuff? Okay, we have scaffolding now. Finally. After all these years. Scaffolding. The rotating judgment line one. I did um, install it and try it a little bit some point recently because I was recommended to try it, but I don't have much to say about it, unfortunately. No, I wasn't thinking of Fibers. I was thinking of Ravon. Ravon's the one with the squares, right? I remember Ravon a lot more than I remember Fibros because I played Ravon at like a TGS, a Tokyo Game Show or something, when it was still pre-release. And and the devs, well, the, the devs are like fans of Arcaea, so they're like, oh my god, Toaster, hello. And I was just like, hi, I'm Toaster. They're just like, oh my god, Toaster, hello. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I remember being asked about charting tips, asked for charting tips by Ravon staff. 
to see how many things happen in these- No, this is nothing that has happened in these two weeks. I'm literally just talking about things that happened in the past. Actually, I think this is the most I've talked about anything in a long time. So you haven't missed that much at all, Alexis. It's literally just stuff that's being brought up in the moment right now. Been removed recently removed from Google Play Store. What? What? Wait. Oh yeah, I remember one of those games. One of the newer mobile random games getting removed for some reason, and I didn't really look into it that much. I remember has been removed from Google Play, but added to another one. I personally love that game a lot. But since it removed, I kind of quit. What's the? I don't know much about Android stores, but I think I know what you are talking about. Does not know what they're talking about. Where is my jungle wood? Jungle wood? Jungle wood doko. Is it in my inventory? Oh, it is. Okay, hello. <laughs> I'm blind. Corner of shame. Heart of the sea. Now, that's an important item. I found type type a lot of external app stores. Yeah, yeah, external app stores. Six holes in our KO. When? What are you supposed to use for your third and fourth? Four, sorry. Fifth. Wait, I can't count to six. I can only count to three. What are you talking about? What's six? I only know how to count to three. I also know how to count to 2034, but that's a different story. All right, let me do this. I just want to set up a bit of cocoa bean stuff here. Like, they're not. it's not that important. The only use of it for me is brown dye. But it'd be nice to have this going, just in case. Ten holes in arcade, gotta use all ten fingers. Just, you have to hold the phone in your mouth and... <laughs> yeah, how about no? Hard agree. How about no? Four holds... Sky... Sky floor. I mean, yes, you can put 10 notes at the same time. It's possible, but do I want... Do we want to? No. <laughs> right? Like, what is the purpose of that other than to meme? You know that rhythm games exist for... You know that charts exist for purposes other than to meme, right? Right? Memeing is not the end goal of charts. Into the shame corner you go, Iron Swords. You are now useless to me. I might as well just throw all of these pieces into the shim corner. They don't have anything of use to me. Game corner. Game corner. <laughs> if I want to support our kit as much as possible, I do not know the answer to, answer to that question. That is actually a very good question, and I don't know the answer to it. I feel like if I did know the answer, I could probably answer it to you easily, but I don't know the answer, unfortunately. Well, not easily, but f I could freely answer, probably. Well, to be safe, because I don't know whether or not I could answer that or not, I just want to say I can't. But I don't know anyways, so it doesn't matter. Why do I have so many bones now, too? What the heck? Organization Doku. Fanmade? Don't do not take that word into my stream. I do not I do not believe in fanmades. I covered this in another stream of mine, but basically speaking, people who make official content can't really look at fanmades safely. We can't look at fanmades because because if we look at fanmades then people can always just accuse us of popping fanmates for content. And because of that, I never I will never look at a fanmate. I never have, I never will. Therefore, by extension, it is impossible for me to have ripped off a fanmate because I don't look at them. Ah. Uh. Oh, I'm sure they're chaotic. They're also something that's not really for me to think about. What? Why did the buried treasure map unmark itself? Didn't I already find that buried treasure? 
Did I accidentally scale the map? Is that why? Oh, that's ID number zero. I already looked, I already found that character, so why is it suddenly un. Smart. Well, whatever. Oh my god. The sorting never ends. Sorting never ends. Why is Tempestissimo Future a 10.6? It's not a 10. What? Oh, Future. Because it's a 10? Have you played Tempestissimo Future? Ratings are also a very controversial thing. I don't think I can say much about them either. It just, it is what it is. You just have to deal with it. Do toasters have zodiac signs? My zodiac sign is Capricorn. My human form zodiac sign is Capricorn. If you're talking about the Toastarians, I mean, we have different constellations there. So no, we don't have zodiac signs, unfortunately. Harder than some 11s get good? I don't know. I. Mm, after additional thought, I will not be making any comments on that at all. Nope, I will not be making any more comments on Tempestism. It's moving a bit too much into unsafe territory for me to talk about. Oh, I actually cleaned out both of these. Nice. I can finally put them away. Oh my god, that took fucking forever. Uh, okay. That goes here. <laughs> I did not expect comments and stuff like that. And don't talk about it. Like that. Ah, you're baiting me. You're baiting me. It's fine. It's fine. I forgive you. I forgive you. Oh, my smooth stone. Oh, beautiful. I love you, smooth stone. I love you so much. You're the one thing that makes my world go round. Smooth stone is the only stone for me. Everything in this world must be made. What? Swords hit bamboo faster? Holy shit! Wow. Um, I learned something new. I learned something new. Wow. Okay, thank you. I did not know that, actually. I didn't know that... Bamboo's tool was sword and not axe. Wow. Wow. Sometimes I ask people to guess my zodiac sign. Well, I don't know you well enough to make an educated guess about your zodiac sign, so unfortunately I can't do that for you. I am very sorry. I will roll a random number between 1 and 12. What the heck? That's a lot of zombies. Zombie siege. These guys are just getting crit to hell and back. Is this a talking reference? Oh my god, I can't believe they put talking into Minecraft, guys. Ta -ke! Da -da 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 this is like Amogus, but with Take. Oh my god, please. Yeah, zombies siege but on the villagers. Yeah, I know. That's why there's so many of them. You know, um... Zombie Siege on those guys? I don't know. Our hardest rhythm game is Bracer until the end, just that five seconds left. I mean, that happens to everyone. That happens to everyone. That's just what it means to play rhythm games. The last five seconds are too hard, and then you just die at the end. It's definitely an experience that everyone has had. Wait a minute. Let me look at those maps again. I need to check something on these maps. Ow. Right, I was going to map the outline of, of my island. Let me see if I have any item frames. I have two. I can just line them up right now. Just to take a better look at... Hmm... Or miss the last note? Oh, that's a thing. Choking... Choking FRs and PMs? That's definitely happened to me before. Although... For me, it's more choking PMs because... 
I'm, I'm too good at the game, but it's the same idea as poking at Fars. Okay. So the mob grinder TTT is probably going to be pretty far away from my base because apparently I'm in the middle of a island like this. Let me go fill out both of these maps. Let me sleep first so that no phantoms chase me. And then... Oh right, I need to fix my elytra, huh? Hello Enderman. Being a 12.5 plus, I could probably proclaim that Psycho is stronger than all the future 11s. Um, being a 12.5 plus, I can also say that that is not the case for me. So unfortunately, we just have different opinions on the matter there. Objectively speaking, my Psycho score is also not... My Psycho score is one of my higher ones in 15s. Or sorry, in the 11s. So like... Literally just... No, unfortunately. I can't believe I have to do this to repair my elytra right now. One day I'll have a mob grinder, but today's not that day. How will we repair this? Oh, it's already pretty dang repaired. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me repair this a bit as well. Wow, that thing really wanted a lot of experience, huh? didn't even fully repair itself. At least my life was here now. Rekka Resonance is the worst curse I've been with. It's just helpful for my fingers. Rekka is very hard. Rekka's 10 plus, right? Wait, what? Why do I have 7 kings? Hold on. Seems important if I have 7 kings. Oh yeah, Rekka is a 10 plus. <laughs> Don't ask me why I don't remember what level record resonance is. As on 10.8, potentially went down to 10.2 in less than four games. What? That seems kind of incorrect. Hi, Xwasian. I'm definitely not leaking arcade internals right now. What are you talking about? Previous lady is the easiest 11. Oh, Xwasian, what's 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 the easiest 11 in your opinion? Or like, what's the easiest one for you? The reason I say Psycho is the easiest for me is because I it's the one that I have the highest score on right now. But this is might not be true for all people. The easiest 11 is Grievous Lady, really? Okay, noted, noted. Is my highest score and only FR. Eagle Seeker is the easiest 11 for me. Damn. You have high BPM powers, friend. If you're good at Eagle Seeker, then that means you're fast. You're a fast person. It means you speed. Although, yeah, parts of Eagle Seeker are pretty easy. I agree. But it has like... A a particular tricky part that just like breaks everything in the end. If he is harder than all the future 11s. I ain't getting into this argument with you. <laughs> Ixwasian is here O underscore O. Yeah, he's always here. Well, not always, but whenever Ixwasian shows up, he's always lurking. He's always lurking. Ixwasian's a lurker. And he just comes in and says something funny at the last possible moment. Curse you, Extrasian. <laughs> oh look, another ruined portal. Let me check this out. Ow. Wow, this one's actually... Wait, I should pick up this crying obsidian. Is this really my... Oh, man. Two charter on argument, who wins? Uh, Loiro wins. Whatever Loiro says is correct is is the winner. And according to Loiro, according to Loiro, um, wait, what is a char constant? What is a char constant? According to Loiro, what is a char constant? <laughs> I don't know what these funny numbers you're talking about are. 
<laughs> songs only have levels between it's just there's, there's tens 10 plus and 11 that's it <laughs> low rio low e bro well, yeah what are these funny numbers you guys are talking about? i have no idea what you're talking about right now bow, 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 bow. Mm, there's a lot of water here. I think I could... I think this spot over here is probably fine for the mob grinder. Is this enough empty space around? I'll have to do some calculations later. But this, this right here definitely seems like a good candidate for a mob grinder. For mob charges and archaics, Frosten is the hardest to type. Yeah, aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that there is an archaic... <laughs> that my name is just Toast? <laughs> It is but a blessing and a curse. It is a blessing and a curse to be named Toaster. On one hand, on one hand, um, my name is very easy to remember. On the other hand, it is literally impossible for me to egosa myself. Egosa being a term for when you search your own name on social media to see what people are saying about you. It's impossible. I literally cannot search my own name to find what people are saying about me. Like... Ekshwasian, he could he has a lot of nicknames and probably misspellings, so it would be a bit hard for him, but if you were to just search Ekshwasian on Twitter, like he would be the only thing that people are talking about with that name. For me, that's not true at all. I can't search Toaster on Twitter and find what people are saying about me. Hink, it's very easy to ego sign myself. Well yeah, you're most people have an easy to ego sign name. Most people have an easy to ego sign name. It's only I'm special. For some reason, my name is Toaster, so I'm unego signable. <laughs> I can't be. It's not possible for me to ego sign myself, except on the official Arcade uh, Discord. I can definitely just search my name there, and it'll be fine. Oops. Every single day, I hate Toaster arcs, and then a reply to that message i love toaster arcs this happens every single day <laughs> it's so freaking funny okay let's go map out the other upper half as well are you asking me how i came up with toaster or ink or x Watson? when i ego sum myself and terrified because my comment from insert website here are already shown insert website here i'm not going to think about what website you're talking about how did i come up with the name toaster it was a inside joke that i had with my friends on twitter a long time ago and then it spiraled out of control there's this anime called nichijou and nichijou has this segment called helvetica standard in one of those segments a toaster shows up and shoots uh two pieces of toast into the roof and it crashes like into the roof, it goes bum, 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 bum. and then the toast goes Pew! and then they s you miss the temple do i even want to look at that temple i don't really give a damn to be honest <laughs> i don't think the contents of that temple are important enough for me at this point oh my god another one shows up right now fine i i will go inside this one but yeah um there's this helvetica standard segment about a toaster And um, basically, everyone in my friend group at that time was memeing um, their profile pictures by changing them to something from Nishijo. Like, some people changed their profile pictures to like the dog from that one segment, from this one segment where like they get bitten by the dog and shoot space lasers. Shoot. I forgot my ender chest! What? Yeah, some people memed themselves as the dog from that one section. And then, you know, everyone just like memed themselves as something different. I memed myself as a toaster. And then it stuck. And everyone was just like, haha, you're a toaster. And then I was like, guys, this was like a year ago. Why are you still calling me a toaster? And everyone's just like, haha funny toaster who called himself toaster for one week and then i didn't have a choice i just had to go with toaster because everyone would keep calling me toaster everyone just kept calling me toaster and i didn't have a choice 
and I became Toaster. <laughs> That's the story of why my name is Toaster. Yep. Nichijou. So in a way you could say I was I did not choose the toaster life, the toaster life chose me. And that is completely accurate and true. You know, I think it's something that I think this is something that uh I heard uh what's her face? Kiara. Kiara from Hollow EN once said um you don't get to choose what you look like in regards to like how some corporate VTubers don't have a choice in their designs, right? Well, I would say it's kind of the same idea, except is you don't get to choose what your own name is, right? When you're born, when you're born in real life, you don't get to choose your name. Your parents choose your name. And in the same, in a similar way, my internet name, Toaster, was not something I chose for myself. It was something that was chosen for me by the spotlight of fate. And that's why I call Toaster. I will check out that temple once I go retrieve my ender chest. It's definitely a very interesting story. I don't think a lot of people out there, most people's like origin story for their internet handle, I feel is when I was 10 years old, I thought it sounded cool, right? Like how many people here raise your hands if you thought you made your internet handle when you're 10 years old because you thought it sounded cool because that's probably most of you guys right right but me no that's not my origin story my, my name was chosen for me and i think in a way that makes it kind of unique and like special so i do find the name toaster very precious yeah a lot of people like make like a cringy name when they're 10 and then they're like wait this is actually hard to spell or like say but people call me this so i'm going to change it i'm going to like paraphrase it and then that's how you arrive at your current name right but not me not me definitely a very precious name toaster is definitely a very precious name to me My internet handle is literally based from Minecraft. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm from Germany and my name sounds really dumb in German and English it's alright. Eridum sounds dumb in German. Unfortunate. If I had my German friend here, then they would tell me why it sounds dumb. First was Starlibbing, which originated from a pop tropical account that had to rebrand to Ink Black Shadow, but that's too long and then you changed to Inkwe. <laughs> Man, I've had this name for like 10 years. <laughs> I have my username as TwilightCats underscore 07. Please don't tell me you were born in 2007 because you're way too young to be listening to me swear every five seconds. <laughs> Where did I get five ender pearls or eight ender pearls from? I didn't even pick up that. Well then. I guess golden carrots are pretty good too. I'll put them in here as well. I'm 17 now. Okay, so you were born in whatever year that is. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I love that word, unfortunate. Anything bad happens, just say unfortunate. It will make sense. I literally don't know how I came up with that user. So you're telling me you're like five years old when you made that username? It's literally just 10 year old brain things. Just be like, yeah, I sound edgy. And then now it's your name for life and you're stuck with it. Yeah. But being called Toaster is. It's. Precious. Is one way to put it, I guess. <laughs> kind of weird to say that it's something that's precious to me, but I guess. I guess it really is. I've never thought about it before. But now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, the name Toaster really is precious to me because it was given to me as a gift by people memeing the hell out of me. So yeah. <laughs> I use my real name as my internet handle for the age of six to twelve. I'm third time reading to XCAP because I'm very uncreative. <laughs> Unfortunate. Now, for, if it's damn it's for him, gotta go. Please make overwhelm girl a part. <laughs> Good night, Davy. Have a nice night. I'm already running out of fireworks. I have less than a stack and zero, zero gunpowder remaining. 
Is there really no way to get gunpowder other than building a mob farm? I'm pretty sure this is true. Right? There's no villager that sells gunpowder. I should probably not fly around so much with my last stack, but I need to find a good place for... I need to find a good place for that mob farm anyways. So I might as well fly around a bit with it. Also 3am here, gotta go sleep. Good night, Ink. Have a nice week. Oh my god, I missed. It's 4am there. You see, this is like the ultimate problem with my audience, is that half of half of you guys are like literally like in the middle of the night right now, and the other half is like, yeah, I just woke up because it's like 10 a.m. here, and I'm just like, oh, it's impossible for me to satisfy both ends of the- oh, not this shit again. Yeah, it's impossible for me to like stream at a time that's good for everyone. It would be funny if one of these people- oh my god, lag. It'd be funny if one of those creepers exploded and then like everything there died. That would be really funny, but at the same time, I don't want a creeper to explode. So I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> 9 a.m. Yeah, exactly. You're proving my point right now. <laughs> it exploded anyways. And it was really funny, but now I have to fix that hole in the ground. Especially because it's so close to my house. Okay. Okay, let me heal up. Oh, that was a lot of enemies. And that's a hole in the ground. I can't do anything with global audience, yeah. It's like something that I never realized until I started streaming was how global my audience is. I mean, I mean, like it makes sense. Arkea is literally made by a international team, so it would follow that its audience is also global, right? But I just never thought about it very much until I started streaming, and I was like, wait, it's not just like Japan plus the U.S. There's also people from Europe. There's also people from like South America. There's all sorts of other Asian countries as well. I wake up, start home office work, and have toaster stream open on the second stream. My impact productivity, but hey, still get my work done before the deadline. You know, I know some people who like dedicate their entire lives to watching VTuber streams and they literally get nothing done. So you're doing better than those people. <laughs> and this goes back to the whole thing about simping that I was talking about earlier but never got to finish, which is that. Like, I have in me the, the blood type of a simp, like, which I discovered very recently after getting into Prism Project. Holy shit, man, I'm such a simp for certain Prism Project talents. You, you guys may or may not know. I try not to talk about it because I don't want to be annoying, but like, the longer I go on, the more I get into it, and it's just like impossible for me <laughs> to not talk about prism talents when they're literally on my mind like half of the time <laughs> i know that time sometime we'll work on the total fan game oh yeah 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 so you know the pr you know the true pain of working with people from all time zones i hope that you guys found like a good way to deal with it because uh lori row definitely did but it took us a hot minute to reach a point where we had a good workflow. It requires the fearlessness to ping people. Like, I don't get why people are scared to ping people on, on, on Discord, but I'm not. And I wake up to like 10 pings every single day because that's the only way we get any work done. Hello, random zombie villager. You are not needed. Extremely unneeded. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh my god. That's also a creeper. <laughs> Tree Enderman! That's also a creeper. What the heck? Tree Enderman! 
<laughs> How did they get up there? I guess Tree Underman is gone. Weren't there four creepers in total? Wait, where's the third one? Ow. Wow, there's two Endermen here and they're both holding grass blocks. Hello, goodbye. I don't need you. You're unneeded men. Oh, there is the other one, I see. Hello? In the gameplay quote department, we had calls Saturday evening because I remember it was from the US and then we worked together with Dropbox Instant Files and it worked very well. Oh, Dropbox, huh? We did not use Dropbox before. We used something like Dropbox in the past, but then we moved away from it in order to scale. At GGG for movie, bye Toasty. Bye Honeycomb. Oh, your name's supposed to be Honeycomb? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I did not realize that for all of this time. <laughs> not only that, the problems on home also make some impact here. I was trying to get relaxed, but problems happen. Yeah, stress from my classmates, the only thing. Stress from class, the only thing they do are always discussion by most dumb in the intro of class. And I mean, I don't know anything about what it's like to um, have remote classes because obviously I did not grow up in the era of COVID causing everyone to have remote classes. So that's not something that I can understand and also when i was in high school and even earlier than that i wasn't like very popular e or social either so like i never talked much with my classmates even outside of school and you have to realize that instant messaging was also like a very new thing when i first entered high school so like even just like we used like we used what was it google's Google's instant messaging thing and AOL instant messaging, which we called AIM. Those were the two things that people used the most when I was in high school. Toaster stutters in my head. Yes. 17. That's enough for another stack or so. Alright, let me put that on the elytra. I suppose I can afford to fly this a bit more. All right, there is a... Hello, pillagers. I'm going to just... If I don't look at it, it doesn't exist. Okay, I do have the ender chest. <laughs> Wait, what? Where is that? You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna map out the coast like I was supposed to. <laughs> Wait, a movie? I haven't watched a movie in so long. Gosh. I don't even watch anime anymore. I feel like a lot of people, when they become adults, they actually do stop watching anime as much. It's just like a function of not having enough free time for it, you know? Yeah, no? Alright. 17 times 3. 18 times. Yeah, that's almost a stack. I guess that's decent. Oh my god, do I have to turn around now? Alright, do a flip toaster. Ooh. Hmm. This is good mapping work. Hello, random lava in the middle of an. <laughs> I used to watch four hours of anime when I was still in school. Now it's like three series a year. I watch even less than that. Another day of thanking Allah for making me born in the 2000s. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's not like not having instant messaging was a bad thing. <laughs> I think I used to watch like... Oh wait, this was the temple I was looting, wasn't it? I didn't actually watch that much anime when I was still in school. But I would like at least keep up with like a few series 
like two or three series per um, season. Okay, let me put away the stuff that I don't need and then get down there and loot the shit out of it. Yeah, it's time to loot the shit out of this. Being an adult sucks, take me back. Yeah, but being an adult has... Being an adult affords... Wait, this is a... Oh, no, it's not. Being an adult affords you a lot of freedoms in other ways, so I don't necessarily think that I want to go back being a child. <laughs> being young sucks, go back. Yeah, I prefer the freedoms that I have as an adult right now. Not just the freedoms, but experience and knowledge. Like... I've gained so much experience in just like so many different things compared to when I was a child. I didn't understand a lot of things about myself when I was a child, and like I don't I do not want to go back to that. I do not want to go back to that at all. And even though I'm like even though I'm not necessarily like super happy all the time for one reason, for some reason or another. I am happy with the oh. Okay, I'm not really sure if I am now that I have to say it. Am I happy with the place that I am in life right now? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm happy with it in certain aspects that I would not have if I went back to being a child. That's what I mean to say. Wait, what is this thing? Ouch. Huh? Oh, this is a drowned thing. Okay. You know what? How about no? I'm not going down there. Ow! Hey, wait, 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 where's my shield? Holy shit, man, you did damage! Remedia series has this knowledge, the academic and the personal. Yeah, I have both more academic and personal knowledge. I also have like so much more experience in just like dealing with other people, like social experience, understanding myself as a person, and just like experience with working on projects in general. Like those are all things that I value a lot that I've gained as an adult. Oh, of course it didn't drop his trident, unfortunate. It was worth a shot, though. Always gotta take that chance for the trident. Sometimes there's chests inside there. Yeah, I know, but I are... Okay, fine. I guess I'll go look to see if I can find a trident or something. Or not a trident, but another... Another conduit thing. Whatever it's called. Part of the sea. Oh, a buried treasure map. Okay. I don't have like aqua affinity or respiration or anything though, so going down here sucks. Like a lot of you guys are still like very young. Or not very young, but like relatively young. If you're still like in high school or something, then I feel like there's that you definitely there's like still things that you haven't discovered about yourself that you might not know that you haven't discovered about yourself. Growing up is very interesting. And now I can't lift off. Oh wait, I'm not even wearing my elytra, I'm stupid. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Spam the spacebar and right click to lift off, you know. <sighs> I'm grabbing this crying obsidian as well. With personal, I was talking to about experience. Oh, I see. But, um, I mean... Did you like that water ASMR? No, I mean it a lot when I say like I value the fact that I know myself better as a person. Uh, <laughs> feel free not to dox your age. I'm not going to say how old I am despite the fact that you could probably find it with a bit of searching. Don't search it up. The numbers tell. Yeah, I know, right? Please don't put your your birth year in your username. 
I feel like that's something that people shouldn't do, but a lot of people end up doing it anyways. I am Primity years old. Primity toaster. Yes, Primity is Primity years old, and I am toaster years old, which is to say I'm something like infinity years old. Oh, ow! Infinity years old because of something about being a god or something like that, you know? Uh. I still have many... We all have many years of our lives ahead of us. There are many things that can be done in those years. But will we do those things? Or will we be doing the same things for the rest of our life? That is a choice that must be made. And is it fine to keep doing the same things if those, if that thing that you are repeating is something that is very important to you? Even if it means sacrificing, sacrificing your growth in your other interests. Let me get rid of this creeper. Sometimes I ask myself that question. Definitely has nothing to do with where I currently am in life. Break out of hamster wheel with the work that I currently work with. Yeah, I mean like, there's a lot of people who are like, if given a chance to move on to something else, they would definitely take it. Right, or if like they could move on to something else easily without like having to impact their current situation too much, then they would take it. But I'm not, I'm not in that camp. I don't want to. I don't necessarily want to move on from you know, working on Arkea. Like it's definitely something that brings me a lot of joy, and is important to me. But at the same time, because I feel so like honor bound to work on Arkea continuously, that means that I can't explore other career choices or like explore my other interests as much because I spend so much of my time on one certain thing. That's kind of what I meant with my statement there. Piece of obsidian. You know, is it funny that the main thing I'm looking at in these chests is- Whoa! Gunpowder! Holy shit! Oh my god, man. Imagine gunpowder being the most important item to you. It's like I have a lot of I have a lot of passions or like things that I would like to explore if I have a passion for them, if that makes any sense. But like because I'm currently my work on Arcade is very important to me personally, like Oh my god, I should have taken that sand out. Because my work on Arcade is very important to me personally, I can't really I and because that work takes so much of my time and energy. I can't really easily explore other things. Yeah, that kind of commitment makes it hard to find a stopping point. Exactly. I can't find a stopping point. Like, you guys might be able to observe the effect of what it does to me just having watched my streams. If you've, like, been around and paid a lot of attention, you've probably noticed that I'm just, like... I can't put into streaming what I would like to put into it. I have a hard time being super interesting outside of the things that I work on because I spend so much time thinking about those things. And then like when I'm not working on those things, I just feel tired. I feel so tired, man. So it just makes me want to, um, just makes me want to like derp around and play games instead of like paying any attention to anything. I have to go north? I have to go this way? But yeah, this might be a talk that's a bit too adult for some of you. <laughs> when you're a child, you, you're still forced to just like go to school and like not really much you can do about it. But maybe like Primity or Eridum would understand that a bit. 
Why is this buried so deep? Oh my god, this is buried so deep. Um, I don't know if it's safe for me to do this. Okay, I, 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 I somehow did it. <laughs> I did the tech, I swam down and made an air bubble. I'll say enjoy your swings, would enjoy even if you weren't our kid. Uh, I mean like, 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 like you say that, but, but a certain degree of it is that we both are like game devs of some sort, right? <laughs> we both work on games, so like we have that thing in common. I think that shared interest is is might be something that is like a big reason and why you enjoy my stream so much, because we can both talk about like game dev related stuff, or like have similar experiences in that. Oh my God, where is this buried treasure? Why am I so bad at finding it? I feel like I should have... It's definitely... My left, right is correct. I just need to search more up down, I think. Why is it not just right there? Could it not be like right here? Am I dumb? Is it like buried deeper than that or something? Mm hmm? I feel like it should be like here, but it's not because it is stone. I've already dug too deep to find the buried treasure. Right? Maybe it really is just right in front of me and I just... Oh yes, fortune shovel equals 1,000 pieces of flint, of course. Of course. Who doesn't want 10,000 pieces of flint? Jesus Christ, man. So much flint. Oh god, I'm drowning. I have to go to a meeting now, lol. Might be back later if you're still streaming then. I'm probably gonna- oh god, what time is it? Jesus. I didn't realize I went past 12 by that much. Okay. Take care and good luck, thank you. Take care and good luck, Aridon. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back home, and then probably end the stream, because it is getting kind of late, and I have stuff to do tomorrow as well. Oh my god! All right, let's go. One, two, three, ten. Ah, uh, feels so nice to glide. Whoa, that's a lot of creepers. You know what? I want to fight those creepers. I need the gunpowder. Give me the powder. I need more rocket fuel. I missed. Yo, the strafe. There's the strafe is just too strong. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh wait, that one didn't die. I'm just gonna slash you, slash you instead. Thank you. Okay, let's. Uh, what? Oh wait, I can use the experience orbs to check where I killed them, yes. Eight? Okay, that's like 24 rocket fuels. That's pretty good, I say. Um... Hello, random... Flaming... Creep. <laughs> I guess. Wait. Alright. I wish someone make a Discord emoji where toasters inside box are peeking out from it. From a box, yeah, I'd like to shelter an emoji, but 
It's me. <laughs> Toaster. Alright, let me check this to see if I've... It's lit up, which means I've already been in it. I've already been in this one. I made a plus with torches inside. Um... Lighting is so nice. Oh my god, I'm actually almost out of rocket fuel. Did I miss my house? What? Am I just being stupid again? Shouldn't it be like over here? Maybe it's a bit more to this way? I'm wasting all my rocket fuel because I'm lost. Ugh, oh my god. Okay, you know what? Just let me grab the other map. Cause... Oh my god, I put the other map on the wall. It's this way. I overshot it. I went too far past it. Judging by the coordinates. Ompawa Alcruns. I was actually about to end stream. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. You got here late. Huh? Did you write the XYZ? Yeah, I did. I wrote it down somewhere. It says 8.30.20 is where my home is, which means I overshot it again. It's actually in this direction. There it is. Hello. How do I chibi a toaster? Well, you see, that's a problem. A toaster is already chibi. What you gonna do about that? All right, man, I only have eight pieces of rocket fuel left. That's not the right map. It's this one. Okay, so the contour of the land. I still didn't check if there was anything over here. And then, I feel like this spot is probably the best for TTT. So we'll probably build the mop grinder here. It's like directly south, so it should be hard to get lost on the way there. But like, there's too much land around it, so maybe this spot will be good as well. Eh, I will check it out in my free in my own time later. But for now, I think that will be it for today's Minecraft stream. Minecraft stream turned into toaster philosophical ranting, I guess. <laughs> Thank you all for listening to my um listening to my worries about my life and whatnot. It's cathartic to be able to talk about it, even even if I have to like keep my mind sharp to make sure I'm not accidentally saying something I shouldn't be. You know. Okay, three stacks of rocket fuel. That's pretty good. Came for the Minecraft state for the philosophy. I mean, it's not like real philosophy because it's mostly a personal thing, but I suppose. If you want to call it real philosophy, you could. Well, Ender Dragon died in 10 minutes. Elytra found in like an hour. Talker boxes obtained enough of them. And then I spent like two hours finding a jungle. <laughs> because, you know, what's Minecraft without spending two hours looking for a jungle? And then I ranted about like something on the way there. But yeah. I'm a toasty roasty roaster who roasts toast, make toasty roasts. In goes bread. Out pops toast. That's how toaster roasts. Thank you everyone for coming to my stream today. Um, I hope you all come to my future streams as well. Next week, as the collab I was t I was hinting at last time, next week, yeah, it's going to be on Saturday, I think. So it's collab time. Oh, hell yeah. And I think for the midweek stream, I'm not sure yet. It, I might play Journey or Manifold Garden. I think it might be one of those two. Oh my god, my wallet. Anyways. <laughs> Make a song called Toast's Philosophy, make a hard try about it. Mm, sorry, my name's not Frey. We can't make a song called Toast's Philosophy. That's a rip off. But yeah, Oats a Toaster, Oats a Toaster, and may you all be blessed with possibly deniable Toaster related miracles. Bye bye.
Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've been... I've definitely been feeling sub... Suboptimal. Not suboptimal, but like... I don't feel like I've been performing very well as a streamer recently, so like... Everyone who still comes to my streams is like means it means a lot to me. Thank thank you for your continued support. Thank you for continued support and sticking around and chatting in chat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye.